All right, and we are here Thursday night, and I just want to say, first off, it's no knit Thursday, five hundred dollar max buy-in, but happy birthday to the best victory cigar of poker, Vic. Everyone, we're going to celebrate this day with him with some live poker action, and we're not going to make you guys wait long at all. We are going to jump right into the action. Here is our first hand, all action. Why wait even why more wait? than one second? Why Let's wait? get right into it. Yeah, just jump right in. We got about four new players. Oh well, when I say four new players, right? Two first timers, two players who have only played on here one time. So we're going to get to know those guys a little bit. As you can see, we have Buddha, Mr. Enright, uh, Levine's back. Also, I, I see there Sako is back, which we had that epic clucking match hand last week. I we have a short of that, by the way, uh, floating out there on Instagram and Facebook, uh, Motor City, and also uh, um, a couple others. Uh, etched them out for us so yeah. thanks to you guys for uh, making that happen but yeah no net thursday it looks like everyone is, by the way buddha is buying in for the max five thousand we also have our satellite going on right now or i'm sorry 500 yep. i'm thinking about the hundred thousand guaranteed prize pool that we actually have coming up next week which we have a satellite going on right now for right. that so if you're in the area it just started up you have plenty of time to get here once again one thousand dollar guaranteed prize pool tournament starting next thursday on day two, you make the money, and every single knockout you get is an extra $500 per knockout. Great format. Great format. So uh, there will be uh, – oh, this might be – is this the last satellite then for that tonight? I believe so, unless so, Wizard, you're in our ear, unless Wizard put up another one maybe on a Tuesday. All right, we're going to – My mic, testing, one, testing two. Testing, one, two, three, getting, it, getting in the mix. So, yeah. Is he good now? Any, how's this? Uh, how do I sound? To the people out there, does the birthday boy come through clear? Live TV, everybody. Beautiful thing. So look at the names, by the way. We got Mayhem, Ant Banks, Big Mike, Sacco, Corey, the kid. So it's almost like a Western. <laughs> I guarantee you can pick out who is nicknamed the kid. And first hand of anything. the night is going to go to Mr. Enright. There he is. Uh, the last time he was here, he had uh, one heck of a night. He was pretty much running the uh, the table for a certain – Running with, pure. He was running pure, and he was dictating the action. And so right out of the gate, uh, Mr. Enright's going to keep his uh, keep his run going. Everybody there buying in for the uh, Max 500. Uh, we do not have a list tonight. We don't have a feeder table. So unlike our regular No Knit Thursday, uh, there they will be able to uh, top off to 500, and then at I believe 8:30, um, right around 8 or 8:30, they're going to be able to top off to a thousand. So taking this uh, No Knit Thursday to just a little bit different element, um, based on the player request. So the table has uh, not only asked and received a five-hour live stream now on Thursday nights instead of four hours. Um, but uh, just altering things here a little bit. Still have the yellow no knit chip. And again, if you're just joining us for the first time, we are the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. And Marty Ball, thank you very much for that birthday gift. Sure the kid, the kid coming out. in here, bumping up to 50. Welcome to the table. Right your own on this one. I guess I'll pull it <coughs> How'd you guys ever come up with Dalton uh, and right? Matt Banks. That's, that's his name, man. With a D. Well, I mean, how'd you guys come up with that, Dalton? Mayhem, looking down to Ace the Jack. What's it called? One yard foul. Oh, and he's going <laughs> to three bet this up to 155. Great grandson? Yeah. Or great great grandson. I ain't that old. You look Big Mike in the house. Oh, <laughs> Didn't you two ride together? That's just what I was thinking too. I'm, I'm, saying, saying, I'm, I'm saying it. Who drove? Who drove it? He can't drive. He can't drive. He can't. He's only 14. He he can't. 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 It's early. I'll take the car from him. I have to. I don't think he will. He can't. <laughs> Depends on how this hand goes. We'll see. Mayhem versus the kid. Two first time fresh faces on this live stream. Trying to make an impact early. And he's going to make the good fold there. Let it go. 
Yeah. And by the way, yeah, we Vic, can help you, sir. You got to figure it ben, out. Ben, aka you know, Mayhem, yes. yes, give him some information. Yeah. So, um, he told him he's from Hampton, 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 Hampton Ohio. Does everybody know? Been if you playing for three years. He's also a uh, commercial fishing guide out in uh, Massachusetts. And uh, very cool. Well, they yeah. don't, they don't, they don't, you're telling them to show, so they're going to show it. You're going to lose their chip, and then you're going to gain their chip. There you go, Eddie. Or you're going to get one out of the chip. Don't forget to. That's it. Is the uh, last person standing? So the last person to win a hand, and you must show the hand that you win with to get rid of your yellow no nit chip. But the uh, yellow, the last person standing, then kicks in forty bucks, and they have, uh, by consensus, agreed that that forty dollars will go into the uh, dealer's tip jar. Very generous of them. But this is uh, the yellow no nit chip just. We just do it here on Thursday nights is to entice the action. And as you can see, when we get down to, say, three or four people left in that round with the yellow no nit chip, it will definitely entice action. Usually does. Here's Levine now with ace ten of clubs in the big blind. He's going to go ahead and three bet this now, make it 120. Sacco tried limping in for the 10. Corey raised to 30. He's got two clubs. Unfortunately, what he doesn't know is Levine's got two bigger clubs. Back over to uh, Mayhem, who just took down the second pot of the night. And he's going to let that go. Levine will show the ace ten of clubs and get rid of his yellow no nit chip. Anthony Hall, I believe there's uh, four tables right now already for the satellite tournament Max in the main room. And that satellite is for the March 21st <laughs> tournament. $100,000 prize pool guarantee, uh, day two, $500 bounties. Please go to the reservepoker.com and you can get all of the information, not only on that tournament, but all of our nightly tournaments as well as some big events coming up. End of April, two-week series to celebrate our three-year anniversary. Oh, yeah. And we got a $10 One box big turn straddle. after the other. Well, they came out swinging today, Vic. I mean, we've seen Ace-10, Ace-Jack, King-Queen. Bumping it up, creating action. We haven't even seen, you know, aces, kings, or queens. I like this table. I like the presence of everyone right now. Especially with all these fresh faces. And MGM with the queen deuce on the button. Four players going to the flop now. We have a 7-8-4 board couple of clubs. And right now, pocket fives for Ant Banks is still currently in the lead. Gut shot, straight draw to go along with his fives. Bet 70. <coughs> over to the kid. And the kid gets out of the way, folds his gut shot with two overs. Ant Banks, a.k.a. So Anthony, right? Yes, sir. Anthony has uh, been on here once before. Is that what he said? I believe yeah, one time. One time. Been playing the game for 20 years. And he's got a uh, shout-out to his uh, Sunday poker crew. If you're out there, Sunday poker crew, let us know. But Anthony taking that pot down, going with the... Uh, the handle of Ant Banks. Everybody here buying in for the $500 amount. They are able tonight with no list to go ahead and top off to 500 and then at 8.30 we're going to raise that <coughs> limit to 1000 right, Here comes the kid, by the way, with pocket jacks waiting in the wing. <coughs> Had King Queen earlier. Raised it up. Got three bet. <coughs> Made a fold when he was a slight underdog, but it was a good fold. 
Now MGM with Ace Queen big hand alert pick. One time. And they're just putting the kid to the test early. Two hands, he's picked up, King, Queen, and Jack's pick. He's gonna get three bet both times. I'm curious to see uh, how long we go before we see a uh, a limp pot, limp being the $10 straddle, because things are starting out really strong here tonight, Tom. Hour three. Okay. Here he comes with a four bet. The kid showing he's got some moxie. I like this because you don't want to sit at the table and just let everyone think they're going to push you around. He pushes back right now. Shout out to Leaf Morgan. Thank you for joining us. And Peach. If MGM knew on the chat board the situation, he would definitely call this for sure. Ace Queen versus Jax, he could live with that. Hey. And he lets it go, and the kid shows the Jax and gets rid of his Boy yellow no nit chip. And his real name is Dalton. Uh, and he's here with his dad, Ben, tonight. That's not his dad. Mayhem. That's not his dad. That's his friend. Oh, his friend. It's not his dad. I'm sorry. Excuse me. And he's from uh, Galapagos. I guess he's going to get one of the best. Yes, yes in Ohio. Ohio. Only been playing poker for a year and a half. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad he played because I didn't want to see me. Like he's trying to handle it. He's trying to handle it. Yeah, I'm like, I want to. I knew Bob had some bullshit. I thought about going. Bullshit? He's a queen? Yeah, bullshit. What the fuck? You just push with his tent. Suited? What are you talking about? Suited? I think he's a tenor race winner. Oh, okay, yeah. You. I'll, I'll play you ace play queen nine I'll play ace ten all day. Okay, I'll play ace ten of games. Suited, would you rather have ace queen off or ace ten suited? Which one would you rather have? What difference is it? Oh, none. None at all. It makes none at all. Just keep thinking that. Is this a live stream of purpose? He thinks it's culture. Both these guys. Both these guys. Don't group me with him. You act just like him. Oh my gosh, that might be the worst insult I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> you're Jeez, knocking my race with Ace Queen and you're in your Relax. Race with Ace I was almost going to get in with the pocket threes against you. One oh my god, one eagle. But I couldn't because I didn't know what he had behind. And here comes yet another hand and yet another three bet pre flop. Sako raised up from the button with pocket fives. To 60, well, and now Corey is going to make it 180, and Sako is coming along. So we're going to go heads up with a pot of already 361. Hey, you're nice Got a shout out to Eddie here in the box, and he's going to provide us with this flop. Eight, king, four, couple of spades. Pocket five, still in the lead. Corey leading out for 100 here, putting the pressure on Sacco. He's played, <coughs> he knows the game. And he's gonna make the call with the best hand right now with a pair of fives. A little curious with that play. Now it's even better for Sacco. I think if, if he checks us. Oh. It's going to continue oh. the pressure on. All in. Sacco is going to make this call. Corey now with six outs. 8.53 in the middle. Call it light. Nice call, buddy. Yeah, once he committed the 100, if you feel a seven on the turn, <laughs> pretty much committed there. Would you ever do that? I don't think you ever I'm done with this here. Ship it. Ship it. I'm done with that. Here you go. Oops, oh, sorry. There you go. Buddha. Yeah, $100. We are just 30 minutes into this tonight, Dom, and we've already got our first uh, felted here. And uh, 
Corey is going to re-up for another 500. Nice call by Sako, by the way, not getting bullied off that. And Sako well, now will be our chip leader. $853. Sock Sacco now making what is uh, third or fourth okay. appearance here on the live stream. We first got to know Sacco during the Millie when he came in. I think with the tournament play that this is the fourth one. Fourth time. Yeah, this is the third cash one. And he just really enjoys himself, particularly if he can get into a hand with MGM Bob or Buddha. But what a passion for the game Sacco has. Coming to us from the Detroit area, we've got a dealer change coming in. And with our graphics there, you can see the yellow mark next to four people's names. That means there's still four people with the yellow note knit chip in front of them. The last person standing, $40 either out of their pocket or from their stack. And they have taken a vote and decided that that $40 goes into the dealer appreciation jar. Oh, Gentlemen, move. Than Here comes Paul. <laughs> Don't worry, man. If I lose, I promise I'll blame it on you. <laughs> I never like to set the expectation too high for Paul, but Paul, over many, many years of dealing, and particularly in the Toledo area, has uh, a nickname that he lives up to on a regular basis, Poison Arm Paul. Yeah. Raise 55 total. Very fitting for a Thursday night. When you're having a no-knit Thursday, put Paul in the box. Guppy, thank you very much. I appreciate it. By the way, did you get a max value like meal for your birthday before you came in today? Not today. Sunday night because uh, my wife and daughters got on a plane this morning to go to uh, St. Pete to see my uh, sister-in-law and brother-in-law until uh, Sunday. Uh, my wife and I did go out to uh, Oliver, House, Oliver House on Sunday night. That's right downtown. Okay. Right with... Uh, and here we got a jack right in the window for Levine and a check. Check 20. Up against Buddha that's got 6-3 and a simple little bit of uh, 20. And Levine doesn't have to show because he already got rid of his yellow no ninja. Yep. By the way, I want to give a shout out. Like I said, we got Morgan, Guppy, Mr. Coffee, Marty Ball, Miss Morgan, Dan, Anthony Hall in the house, Virginia Wayne here. Hello all to the message board. Thanks for tuning in to our No Knit Thursday. And we are itching up, getting closer and closer to the 4,000 subscribers. If this is your first time, hit that subscribe button. There's also a notification bell right next to that. They'll give you a notification on Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday when we go live. We also have a 100K guaranteed prize pool tournament coming up, which we will be live streaming not only day two, but try to get a day one in there. That will be going by business demands. Depending on how busy are, what time we get on air. I like the double shirt. I'm done. You complained about it. I'm done. I'm traveling. I'm done. Don't worry. Option. It looks like we have an option now for Mr. Enright looking down. We're letting him live, Frank. He's going to just make a smooth call and boot it checks. We have a Jack King 10 board, couple of spades, open ended straight jaw for MGM Bob, top pair for Buddha. Also, Big Mike, flopping mid pair with an open ender. Cool. Levine we'll now with a pair of 10s. Big Mike is going to make this call. He's got mid pair with Queen Kicker. He's got an open ender. And uh, Mr. Enright gets out of the way, and we're three handed oh. on the king. Trips for Buddha. 200. And he's going to bet half pot here. It'll be really interesting to see what MGM does here because they'll open the door for sure. I think Big Mike will come along. Now it's decision time. Yeah, not only is half pot, but it's more than half his st stack. And he gets to uh, show and get rid of his yellow no-knit chip. 
Three of a kind for Buddha. Does that mean Bob has to pay us $50 now? Um, yeah. Oh, no, so here's he my to, prediction from... He has to lose. Uh, to lose. Yeah, regarding, to lose. regarding about five hands from now, if Buddha doesn't play a hand and like MGM that. Bob oh, starts giving Buddha a hard time, he'll be able to come back and say, hey, I just played King 4. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> That's my prediction. Uh, in about five to eight minutes. I make sure you're going to be the last. Everything I think you're on the song there, Victor. Everything you do, put it call him. Make sure you call everything he does. So that way He's he got to load some up in the chamber for later in the show. You can't just start spraying like you have an Uzi gun. <laughs> You know? No, no, no. Bob never yeah, well done really a bet in his life. No, no, no. Mayhem this time with the cake. The cake is, is just you going have to pay the $40 to penalty. Went bit, just for 10 Oh, he raised it for 10 I'm sorry. He missed their uh, straddle, unless that was his straddle. No, he did raise it up. He did. says, we're going to go with it. You know that well told me to shut up? There you go. Little bromance at the table. Heart to heart, hug to hug. Small Between blind. Buddha and Mr. Enright. King nine of clubs. Buddha now jack ten. Offsuit. And we, we're going to have a uh, six ways going into this flop. Our first limp pot of the night. And look at that flop right there. Six, eight, four. I'm sorry, six, eight, deuce. Couple of diamonds. King four of diamonds for Mike. Flopping the king high flush draw. And the kid, though, hitting top pair. <coughs> Corey's all in for three dollars. No, Corey re-upped. Oh, I'm sorry. It yeah. said Just didn't okay. get it in the system. Gotcha, gotcha. He did re-up to five hundred. Yeah, for a second there, I was like, "Am I losing my mind?" There we go. Twenty-five to go. Kid bumps it up to 90 over the mayhem now with Ace King. You charging him gas money to let him ride over here with you? Nah, he paid for food on the way up. So. Kids menu doesn't cost that much. <laughs> Could be free. Just one them dry. Oh, call. Me. <laughs> and we got a six of hearts on the turn. The kid's still good right now. It's just heads up. Corey is out of the hand. Uh, did he top off? I added back on for the five. How much did you add on for? He five. bought 500. Oh, yeah. no, he bought for five. Oh, okay. Because I'm, I'm adding now 250. And uh, uh, the wizard and Paul are addressing that right now, making sure they get that count right. In the meantime, back to the hand after the six of hearts. And here comes the kid firing. Kid firing out 160. Paul 160. I'm going up to 500, a little less. And there's a call there from Big Mike, still on the flush draw. And he whiffs. No help there. Check, check. Check, check. He shows the eight. And the kid on a heater. He is on a heater. 8.58. Here the play, getting value on the turn there. Nice hand for the kid. You've joined the Reserve Poker Club here in Toledo, Ohio for our Thursday night. Live stream going five hours. And um, we are on Glendale Avenue. Our next door neighbor is a uh, dance studio, and that's that music you hear in the background. Uh, that'll end around 8 o'clock. Um, that's why you hear that boom, boom, boom in the background. I saw Lee asking me about that. So just to clarify. $10 straddle. Sako taking down a big hand against Corey with pocket fives, now coming in with a raise, a seven. And the kid who's really making quite an impression so far tonight. And we've yet to figure out what his range is. Looks like this could be within his range for a $25 bet. He's gonna make the call, but right into Enright. Ooh. On the button, pocket kings, here he comes. 125. 
Buddha says no thanks. Yeah, you got the kid at the table making the raise, and all of a sudden Clint Eastwood comes in. <laughs> says, nah, -uh, not on my watch. Daddy's back. And nice fold. Does it get married to it? Bob's going to take that down. One about sixty-four dollars. Nice hand. I drove with him, so I have to. So if he has no chips, he's going to take off his roll. Yeah, if you can ride with me. Okay. All right, three to go, guys. No you. I had you back. I had you back last time. I didn't say I didn't want I said I don't want I'm not straddling. I had you back last time. We're just trying to back out of straddles now. All right, I'll straddle next time. No straddles, just a bet. We had it out there once. Well, yeah, he took it out. He took it back. You can't take shit back once you cross without there. Oh, that's great. That's bullshit. All right, $10 is in there. No. Not straddles. Oh, good. <coughs> oh. I want to make Bob mad. No, you ain't mad. This I was this Bob down here. Well, you never get mad at him. He can't get mad. Well, and right now with pocket fours, <coughs> as Levine three bet up to forty-five. You can, yeah. but you got to tell him no, those tens. I like him now, so it's right for the. Buddha right behind with the nemesis oh. suited King Jack right. on the button. 180. 180 total. He's going to make it 180 to go. <coughs> Mayhem now. Ace 10 of clubs. Not what you want to see with Ace 10 with all that action, even though when you look down initially, you're not sad about it. Yep, two in the chamber, but not ready to pull the trigger. Wait for a better time. And here's the all in from Levine now. All in for 619. This is a situation where Buddha knows that best. He's well, flipping. Your head, buddy, but I got half my stack in the middle, so I call. Right. And for Buddha's situation, this is going to be about the best case scenario with King Jack if you're in this position. <coughs> Seeing an under pair. Still has two suited overs. All in for Levine and Buddha. And folks, you are not seeing this reverse. Levine with the tens, Voodoo with the king jack, and there's three spades. So huge flop for Levine as the flush draw to go along with it. Five on the turn of hearts. One card to go, and it's the seven, and it's going to hold for Levine. He's going to pick up a huge pot. Twelve hundred dollars going his way. And Levine up to thirteen hundred, just like that. Vic, it didn't take long on a five hundred dollar max buy-in game. We have a player up to 1300 also the kid up to 833 Sako at 783 We got three players still searching for their first hand. Yes, right. You'd think if you still had three players looking for their first uh, win here that it would be a kind of a tamer game, but this has been... Just something else so far, right out of the gate. We're not even an hour into this. Here at the reserve in Toledo, Ohio. I can't remember what I had. And I'll say it now because I think it's worth saying. Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. I can't remember what I had. For a $500 buy in 1 3 game. This is playing big so far. You know, and I like uh, Morgan on the chat. 13 hundreds of dollars. I like that, Morgan. 1300s. Hundreds. I'll roll with that. Yeah. 
<laughs> we got a raise from the kid with ace nine. I had a jack in my hand. Suited up to 30. And right coming along. I didn't say it until after the. Did you hear we call for the king of spades on the turn? Yeah, that was real good. And Bakes looks down at queen 10 on the button. He says he likes it. Sako coming along with the suit at jack 6. Six players going to the flop, 184 in the middle. And we have a 7, ace, 5 board, 2 clubs. And the kid. Flopping the best of it. Fifty-five total. Fifty-five to go. You're looking at this flop right here. The only other player that has a piece of this is Levine with bottom pair. For the pot size, he might take it down just for fifty-five. Yeah, Vic. And there was over 180 in that pot. And a $55 bet gets everyone the fold. Uncontested. Going to the kid. Nice start. You mentioned uh, Mr. Enright. And I had to look up at uh, a little bit more applicable name for him than Clint Eastwood. Okay. And, um, I'm going to go with Richard Boone. Time to go. Richard, Richard Boone, Boone was a great actor and usually in a lot of westerns. And he was in Big Jake, a couple other movies. I, I do in. recognize him now that you put, you showed me the picture that you found of him. Yeah. But I so. never put a name, a real name to the face. Yeah. But the also he was uh, he always had those roles that was that no nonsense kind of guy. Basically, if he was speaking, it's because he wanted to be heard about what he was saying, not just speaking for speakings. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm going to go with Richard Boone, but I still call him Mr. Mr. Enright. Just not as popular as uh, John Wayne or Clint Eastwood. I mean, it's pretty popular. You could he was at the Clint, time. Clint Eastwood, maybe. John Wayne is a different level. But they're both pretty popular. He was also in a Paul Newman movie by the name of Ombre. He had a great part in that. Oh, OG right there. And we, speaking of OG, we got a 8-queen-5 flop, a couple of clubs, and whiffs for everybody. So Boone's going to take a stab at this continuation bet here of 100. Play pretend. Figure out where he's at, and this is probably going to go through. MGM Bob quickly got out of the way, and so does Corey. So Buddha now in a rebuilding phase after that big hand against uh, Levine. And we've had, I think, three re-ups so far. He's, got, he's locked in. He's ready to go. There's no one. I, I would dare to say if there's anyone that has the passion of the game who's locked in like Buddha, Vic, from our last live stream, remember that hand where we had two, three players flop two pair and OG John flopped an open-ended straight draw, and I was just in shock that we only had $1,000 in the in the pot yes. on our 5510. Yeah. Buddha sent me yesterday a four paragraph. I was just busy at the moment uh, working, but I saw it a lot later than when he sent it, a four paragraph explanation on what he was thinking in the hand, what he put the players on, and I started at about two in the morning when I got home after work. I started just chuckling and I'm thinking, this guy loves the game of poker. So he's locked in, ready to go. Bill says uh, George Kennedy might be uh, more a pro. George Kennedy from Cool Hand Luke, and actually he won an Oscar for that. The kid raises it up to 40 with pocket aces. He's getting king queen. He's getting jacks. He's getting aces. Sit down at the table, picking up some big hands. Big Mike even gets out of the way. With interest, you and Mayhem, mixing things up a little bit. He's going to make the call with the 6-3. The 3-6. Oh, I'm sorry. Big Mike is going to make the call. 
And Big Mike makes the call with Queen 10, so we're four-handed, $175 pot. And we got a 10 King 6 board, couple of spades. Not everybody. And Ace is still well, clearly in the lead for this young man. Off to a very good start here in the first hour of our five-hour live stream. I'll give you a discount, Bob, $10 for the gas. Give me a ride. I think he's going to at least make this 100 <laughs> You want me to give him a ride home, Bob? Yeah. So you're going to get that $10 there. 70, <laughs> 70 bucks is the bet. <laughs> and Mayhem making it inviting. Hits a piece of this with the six. I don't think he'll ever lose. He's never, he's never lost one yet. That's true. If he comes he's along, got to imagine Big Mike's going to come along getting a mid pair that. with the yeah. queen yeah. kicker. Unless he decides to get froggy here and raise it, but he's just going to make the call. Here's Big Mike. Getting yeah, out of the way. Corey with a gut shot. Corey gets out of the way. We're heads up. Oh, and a six on the turn oh for Mayhem. My. Wow. Normally, that's a great card for pocket aces just in case a player flops king 10. Normally, you like to see the six. You can counterfeit the two pair, but right now, that is not the case. And with the straight and the fluster out there, I don't blame the kid for firing this amount out there. 160. Yeah, he's got to go all in here with the uh, spade draw. That's a quick call. Snap called him. And so the chips are going to move to the other end of the table here unless an ace comes, and it doesn't. And yeah. Good thing for the kid, he was up in money, almost up to $900 at that time. So he still has chips that way still. I didn't want to get kicked off table. And it really, you're, 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 you called it after the flop. That really and he only put 70 out there and really gave him the opportunity to stay in that hand, as well as the other players with at that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, the bet sizing uh, could have been a little bit more, especially with the straight the and a flush draw. Yeah. 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 No, he wasn't going against that, but normal situation, you got 180 in the pot. 70 is just a little bit like the lead out. And still mayhem, causing mayhem at the table, just like the commercial. I thought that was, thought that was the best card for me. You thought I kinked in. Yeah, that's my hand. Kinked in my hand. Yeah, Jules, ask those guys where they've been. I know they've been on the chat board here. But we want to see their lovely faces here. On the live stream. Peach in the house, too. Hope Peach is doing well. Chris. Poker Jules. And I think Peach was on vacation, if I'm not mistaken. I was going to call, but I want you to win this game. <laughs> 50. That's, a, that's a weird dynamic. Mayhem, a three bet here, ace-10 of spades after taking down a pot. That's the third time he's had oh. ace-10 <coughs> dealt to him. Hasn't been suited every time, Vic, but that seems to be his hand tonight. MGM Bob making the call with two clubs. Look at all the aces out there. Ace-4, oh. ace-jack, ace-10, and ace-6. So right now... Corey in the driver's seat for sure. If you're Sacco, <coughs> if you knew what everybody else had, you'd kind of like your hand a lot. Here comes the flop. And that's a troubling flop for Sacco, yeah. hitting top pair, but Corey has him hemmed up right now. Sacco does have a gut shot on a jack 10 7 board, couple of clubs. MGM Bob also flopping the ace high flush draw. We have big hand alert here, folks. Yeah. Every player hits a piece of this. <laughs> Even may have mid pair with backdoor oh. spades. I have to wait about three right. minutes. You can't do that. You can't do that. I just got a pot of brew in here. I'm waiting on hand from the bill. And it ain't over till it's over. We get this pot. Everybody calling. MGM Bob now. Does he push here? You see what happens when you wait for him for I would like to play. But at the same time with the ace I frustrate, he might try to get everyone to come along and just get max value. 
Yeah. Yeah. Basically saying is mine. I'm calling anything. You can play this multiple ways. There it is. There's the all in. Yeah, if he would have just smooth called the 100, I think he could have obviously gotten Sako to come along for 100 with top pair with the gut shot straight draw. You just kind of juice up the pot as much as possible. As long as you're fine at calling an all in on the turn with only one card to go if you, if you blink. And here's where uh, ranges and chip stacks come into play because Sako, he loves to gamble. And he's got he's got top pair, he's got a gut shot. Now he's got nothing to do with uh, runner runner spades or with another club, but he loves to be in these situations. Mm -hmm. He does not like to fold, and he's got he's looking around to see what the other stacks look like compared to his stack. And that's going into his process to consider this. Yeah, Do you see a jeopardy of losing his entire stack here right now? It's not as his whole stack to call, but could he possibly? Well, he's he's the fourth player. He's the fourth player right now that's going to be active too. You already have two players ahead of MGM yeah. Bob in for a hundred. Yep. He's counting it out. MGM Bob probably hoping that his ace is live, but we saw that all four aces were dealt out this hand, so ace is not in play on the turn or river. One's in the muck. Three are still in play. But Dom, if you make this call, you got to be willing to put everything else you have at risk. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Come on, Sako. You count it out. You waste three and a half minutes. Everyone's watching out here. All the math and camera time. Camera time. Corey now. I need to see that one. Going all in for 438. And for now, Sako likes his fold, but there's still two cards to come. And this puts the pressure on Mayhem. Vic, if you're back here, who's in the booth? I, re I really think I have the best hand. Top, top, top. Top, top. I had, right now. I had a gut shot. I got, a jerk. I got out. I, had a, I, I was going to snap all you, but he was in the hand. I so now we're just over. heads I up. Jack nine. Gut shot was the best. I had and a jack nine. Second seven comes. Jack nine. Looking for a club and a queen of diamonds, nine. and there you have it, nice Corey. Who had a rebuy early, just gets it back and some. He's actually up one hundred dollars now for the night. Yeah, it's eleven hundred. Nice hand, Corey. Yeah, I almost. I was gonna do it. I mean, yeah, I had Jack nine. We are on a 15 minute delay here with our live stream here on YouTube. And evidence to that was just in the room. Yeah. No, no, I had I had a gut shot. But that was 15 minutes ago. But you're probably not calling it because you have no calls. Yeah, there's so much. We got a dealer change coming in. Mr. Josh Black. Yeah. We got the bomb pop up. Yeah. Go ahead. No, you're definitely in the blue here. Uh, yeah. Dealer change, top of the hour. That means one thing. Bomb pot time. But I'm looking. I'm looking at the money. Everybody in for, I believe, ten bucks tonight. What are we doing? Bomb pot. We are ten handed so far. It's going to be a six handed tonight. We are ten handed, so it's going to be a single board bomb pot. Everybody's going to get ten cards. When you're taking that long, to be honest, I'm going to draw. So I don't know. There's a lot in there. Yeah, Leaf, I made a quick appearance just to remind somebody to put their uh, phone on. Vibrate. Help my Help Mr. Josh Black was right on top. Rub his shoulders. I had a chance to walk through the main room, and um, as I was coming through 15 minutes ago, that satellite tournament. Four full tables, and it looks like they were getting close to opening up a fifth one. That's a satellite for the big tournament coming up on March 21st. That's just a week away. Everybody's got four cards. There's the burn. Here comes the flop. Single board bomb pot. I love the single boards. 10 9 5 on the flop. Extra start soon. Check. Wow. Who's that? 
I start buying them. I don't have any weird stuff going on. Where to go? Where to go? Where to go? Probably would have ran it twice with your mom. They fall. Yeah. Oh, you can? Thursday is one time only. Really? What did you say to No, I think you're wrong. No, it's one to only. Max oh, pay. Max pay well, Thursday. Max pay. Oh, yeah. Is it? <coughs> Jules, thank you for that. Appreciate that. And uh, Anthony, I think, since it's my uh, birthday today, maybe I will come in tomorrow and play. And I'll make that a strong maybe. I'm on uh, teen sitting duties, so tomorrow morning i got to get the 8th uh, grader grandson off to school. As long as I'm up, I may as well come in and play some poker. Friday's at 10.15. Go ahead. Put that in. And that was a uh, unchallenged bet by Lee. Yeah, I had five. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what we're talking about, the $100,000 prize pool guarantee, mega bounty. March 21st through the 24th, this is a $240 buy-in, 40,000 starting stack, 25-minute levels, 10% of each flight, and there are six flights, advance to Sunday the 24th, and then the action starts big time, right, Tom? Yeah, on day two, $500 bounties every single knockout you get, and we will be live streaming live at the reserve on Sunday. Once again, that's why you hit that subscribe button, hit that alert. We'll be popping up on here, playing it down to the winner. Once again, 100 k guaranteed in the prize pool. I expect we go way over that. Looking for a fun time, Vic, and we've had some great audiences, and the message board has been on fire on these shows when we have these big tournaments. Looking forward to that day. Yeah. A week after St. Patty's Day. That's correct. Well, looky here. I've got my green shirt on today, as a matter of fact. There you go. It's never too early. Uh, St. Patty's weekend. For the me. kid's already in for 10. Let's see if he mixes it up here with the four do suited. And he looks like he does. Come along for 35. And Vic, oh, my got a Vic special. I got to get the binoculars out because we are eight handed. Nine. Eight handed. My goodness. A little bit of everything, too. Variety pack, Vic. Ace 10, King Jack, fours, Ace 8. And we have a Ace. Nine deuce board, couple of spades. Nobody has the flush draw. Top pair for Corey with ace ten. He is currently in the lead. Sacco's got a piece of this with a nine. Yeah, MGM is sharing. He also flopped top pair. He's gonna lead out for 120 with the size of that pot. Let's see where he's at. Sacco with mid pair. Giving a look like he's saying, I just never want to fold to this guy. Right. <laughs> if I get any piece of it, I don't want to give up. I just want to keep going. But he does because he's in an early, early position. A lot of players in the sand. Corey now is going to keep him honest, making the call. And we have players like that, Vic, at the table sometimes. Especially when you know those players, you're buddies with them, but you also like to try to take their money at the same time. Yes. Certain players at the table you just never like folding to. Now MGM Bob sure. behind a little bit, so he's got seven outs here. Corey's going to check to him, and MGM Bob's going to push all in. Really putting the pressure on right now for 335 over the Corey. And now you almost have to say, uh, I just won those chips. Do I really want to risk giving them back this early? was felted on a hand earlier, and he's going to lay it down. Wow. Oh. MGM Bob. And Bob <laughs> is going to have a shell in order to give up this yellow no net chip. Nice play by MGM Bob. Oh, and he, and he pump fakes the fold. Come on, pet a nine. Come on, pet a nine. And rolls it over. Put that river in. Can I see that river? Can I see that river? We're coming back. Let's go. Yeah, MGM nice, yeah, nice. Bob with the bluff. Nice hand. God, I knew, it, I knew he wasn't going to pay when he did that move. 
Ace, eight, well, yeah. yeah. Why did you have to draw? Let's draw. What's that? Why? Do you guys, yeah. Why? You guys need 50 huh? that bad? I'll give you 50. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, if you're that hurt, you know I got money. It's the principal. It ain't like I'm broke. It ain't the money. It's the principal. Why would you do that? I should have just shot it. Oh, man. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going. Oh, my God. How do you not? What? The edge of the nudge. Oh my, oh my God! How you fold against the men? Wow! How do you fold? Yeah, you cost us a hundred dollars, Corey. Wow. God! Yeah. Great fold, man. Next time, so a lot of bragging rights. Next time, let me know, man. What you, you have? I, I, I'll tell you to call. Yeah. No, I should have shot. I've never seen me play this. Yeah, hundred percent. Go fold out, God! Now he's gonna talk shit now. Fifty dollars a quarter now. Ten dollars to go. Shit. Thank you, Rob. Yeah. Yeah. We'll the the never have him over a barrel like that again. Time to go. Man, yeah. 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 I was slow playing the whole time. Oh. 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 Slow playing was such a win. No, I'm talking about the whole Look at him. Look at him. He's got blood on his face now. Look, he's got circulations going through. Yeah, he's rejuvenated. Yeah. Maybe start a record account. We'll never, we'll never have him over a barrel like that again. Yeah, five players are going to the flop now. Five players are still. He's going to get rid of that chip next Only day. our second limp pot of the night. <laughs> Four, seven, yeah, you guys are the worst. I'm surprised. Oh, it's like and Mayhem has the best of this with the King Four. I got an extra hundred. You saw him with uh, King Six earlier. That's Take down a big pat against the uh, the kid. Speaking of the kid, it's down to him. But he's got nothing going on here unless he wants to get froggy. Yeah, big blind special. I think, Nothing to it. Uh, I think the biggest part was, was yeah, two weeks ago with, with me, with the bomb part. We had that 14K. I think so. Oh, I was watching that. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're watching it. Shout out to Otis. Thanks for tuning in. these guys fold. They all have, like, nutted hands. Uh, yeah. We ended up chopping three ways. No, no, two ways. No, two ways. I got the most of it. Yeah. Well, hey, guys, it's Victory Cigar's birthday today. Yeah. He yeah. got half in the quarter. He got half in the big yeah. quarter. Yeah. Well, it'll be over soon. Still got time. You were up over five thousand dollars. Speaking of time, we're going to eleven fifteen tonight with our live stream. Our next live stream will be Saturday night. That's the regular Joe Poker Show. That is also a five hundred dollar buy in one three no limit hold'em cash game. That'll be a four hour live stream. You are not, huh? No. I mean in that hand I wouldn't have bet my hand like that. I mean maybe five hundred, maybe Yeah, you know. Oh. I mean, oh, I'm surprised he pulled the best hand, but he pulled it. Yeah, have a good image. Oh, Very good man. image. <laughs> Very good image with, on the table, not with me. Shit. Alright, Paul. He got no image Who with me. Who pulled your string anyway? <laughs> on Facebook. <laughs> wow, what happened to the lot? I can't use it until oh. it comes around. I'll just relax. Oh. He's gonna be another nitty. And a fold. Oh! Yeah. I was gonna call the police. Hey, fire. can you uh, tell him no talking during the hand? <laughs> the bullshit. He's gonna call. He's gonna call all in. Bob calls. Sorry. Sorry, Bob. Bob, right. stop slowing the game, please. There we go. Bob's getting order at the table. Count out the we have five players now going to the flop. Two thirty-six in the middle on a Jack King three board. All spades, Vic. Top pair for Sako, top pair for MGM, also Big Mike with mid pair. And he has a ten of spades in his hand. Holds going around the table. Three players now involved. Three players. Check. Check. Oh, Levine had a shot there. Let's continue that. Our two players check, Sako. In the driver's seat. Could put pressure on all three players. Get a free card on the turn. Ace of hearts. Sako with the check mark. Sure. Sure. 
And here's Levine. Trying to represent that spade. What a nice bet size to put on the pressure right here. Love this play by Levine. Sacco also has MGM behind him. He just got the best hand to fold and he takes it down. And he shows it so he can get rid of his yellow no nit chip. That's poker, baby. That is poker. Nice play by Levine. Very nice play by a young man that's already taken his stack from 500 up to 1600. Hey, that's my favorite poker play of the night so far. That really is. Really like that play. And Mason, um, yes, we do not have. Uh, there's a shot of our main room. Uh, we do not utilize uh, shuffle machines. If you're not familiar with our room here, we're coming up on our third year anniversary. We've got a big uh, series coming up to celebrate that third year anniversary. Tonight, what you're viewing there is a satellite for the March 21st $100,000 prize pool guarantee tournament. We're open seven days a week. Go to thereservepoker.com and you can check out our schedule. I was in a bad position. You can't call. He's got call. Yeah. I was going to bet the turn. I was going to bet the turn and see where I'll play that. We got four players now going to the flop. Ten bucks apiece. I think I was jamming turn. I think it was checkers jamming turn. I was kind of committed to that one. And we have a six jack seven board. Couple of spades fit. Top pair for Buddha here. But Ant Banks has him on kicker with the queen jack. And it's been pretty quiet here for Anthony so far tonight. But like you say right now, top pair, queen kicker. Enright got a piece of this, Mr. Enright. So we're going to go three-handed to the turn. Oh, now boy. Two pair. Not only that, but that gives Buddha then the flush draw. Nine. Isn't it amazing when you hit two pair sometimes it's a bad card? Like right here. He had the hand more on lockdown with just the jack. But now turning two pair, a flush draw comes into play. More outs for Buddha. But this might be enough. All, All in, in here. 220 in the middle. He's got 400 in front of him. That's enough. He says, I'll shut down the action now if you want to come along, pay the seat. And this is going to put pressure on Buddha right here, Vic, because he's probably hoping his jack is live. Or the three, and the three's dead, the jack's dead. He's just relying on hearts if he makes his call. And a call. Okay. And Ant Banks, heavy favorite here. Five outs for Buddha. And on the river, and it's a 10 of diamonds. At first, it's a little scare card. You that was a red, scare card, yeah. But a blank hits, and Ant Banks profiting 495 that hand. Close to 1,000. Nice answer. Coming from the Detroit area? No, I didn't know the bed didn't. You can never call That's why I was. I knew Bob won't call. And Buddha's going to re up here. Yeah. Another 500. Brandy Graham, by the way, thanks for tuning in. 10 handed tonight. Everybody buying in for 500. We've had, uh, I think, right around four. Maybe five uh, re-ups here, so about seven thousand dollars on the table here tonight. We're going to eleven fifteen, so still a lot of poker action to go. I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Greatly appreciate it. What's really important to us here at the reserve is you. We appreciate your participation, and a big part of that is please hit that like button, and if you get a chance, also subscribe. Fifty-five. 
$10 button straddle. Buddha's going to limp in with the King Jack. And MGM Bob now is going to raise it up with Ace King, make it 55. Levine with pocket fives is going to call. Big Mike now. Gets rid of the King Deuce of Hearts. The kid. No thanks. Mr. Enright, the straddler, gets out of the way. But Buddha's going to make the call, so we're going to go three-handed here tonight. The nemesis has not gone well for the Buddha lately. Nope. And going in the pre-flop, he's hoping for a jack. 178, three ways. And we got a 9-9-10 board. Levine with two pair currently. Flops the best of it. And MGM coming out firing. He tonight. is. He is definitely mixing it up from what we've seen right. in the last month, Vic. I like this version of MGM. The last couple weeks, we've honestly seen him call a little bit more and having other players dictate the action. Right now, he's pressing it. Easy, Bob, but I'm going to fold anyway. You don't believe me? No. What'd you have? King Jack. King Jack? Good okay. call. Bob, I had nine mil. Oh. Levine sees it. <laughs> Levine. Priceless right there, the yeah. action. Oh. Gotta love that face from Levine. Well, tough spot for Levine. He still had Buddha behind him, too. It's not just heads up. That was the face of a kid that just walked into a birthday party late and found out that all the cake was gone. Yeah. And, uh, yes, uh, I did get a very nice present here from uh, my commentating booth partner, Dom. Greatly appreciated. A nice fillet knife. And uh, probably try to get into the Maumee River on Monday. The walleye are running right now. Ooh. And also a very handsome uh, apron. Yeah, American flag apron. I'm going to oh, yeah. put that in the RV when I'm cooking. Uh, I think the Statue of Liberty is on there too, by the way. All right. So you're full USA decked out. Very generous. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for the birthday wishes. This too shall pass. <laughs> they don't bother me. I, I Certain times people ask me how old I am, and sometimes I just forget. I was taking that Ginkgo Globa for uh, memory, yeah, but I forgot where I put it. So, well, I bet you would remember this hand if you got it on your birthday, Pocket Kings. Vic. I would. Nothing like Pocket Kings. 50 to go. Raising it up. The kid gets out of the way. Enright is coming along because he's Bob, Mr. Bob Enright with two four diamonds. This is a classic Mr. Enright plays. Hoping to get paid off. And Buddha also with two diamonds. He's got what we call here in Toledo the moose. Enright's probably putting him on a huge pair. And he's trying to look for a big pot right here. That's why he's going to be coming along with four deuce suited and Buddha with eight five. Man, a lot of diamonds out there. Four players going to the flop now on a seven queen queen board. Kings still have a stranglehold on this one. And there's a third queen. That has to just make Corey feel a lot more secure. Secure and yet. Uh, not going to get paid here. What? No. You're on a stream, right? But it's going to be a $110 profit here, so can't argue with that. Yeah, you're hoping for someone when you do that type of bet that maybe have nines, eights, even fives. Might make a call right there. Shows the kings, and he gets a collective ooh from the table. Thank you very much, Marge Lee, a.k.a. Grandma, Grandpa. On vacation, thank you for watching from vacation. We appreciate it. Can't wait to see you on the 14th. Want to uh, let everybody know that on uh, April 14th, that's our Sunday one rebuy tournament. And on that day particularly, uh, we are going to honor um, a longtime friend and customer of ours here at the Reserve. Chris, we call him Boots. He's in the reserve, and he is being deployed for a year. Can't say when or where, but we heard about it and decided we wanted to have a little uh, appreciation party. So on April 14th, 1 o'clock for that tournament, we're going to have, uh, speaking of cake, cake and balloons and some snacks, and we know that Marge is going to bring in some uh, cupcakes like she always does. We want to thank Chris for his service. 
and wish him the best. He'll be gone uh, from our mitts for at least a year. April 14th. Put that on your calendar, folks, if you can make it. It looks like we're going to have four players. $50 a piece coming into this one, 204 in the middle. A little variety pack of hands. We have a King King 3 board, and there's Sako hitting three of a kind right on the flop. And Ant Banks. And I don't blame him. You're on the button. You're playing your position. You got 8-7. You whiffed, but there's a flush draw out there. And you're thinking to yourself, would someone really check and not bet anything with those hearts? Four-handed? Well, and his table image has been uh, a little cool yet here tonight. Yeah. So he might be trying to take advantage of the position that he's in with his table image. Unfortunately, he's running right into Sako with King-7. And just a call here from Sako. And Buddha, the uh, preflop aggressor, gets out of the way with his ace queen. And here we go, heads up, and here comes the turn. And another three. Now I'm curious to see. I think Sako has to check this play, acting like he has hearts. Given his part is yeah, there you go. Yeah, he's got to got to hope that uh, Anthony and Anthony is positioning himself like he's going to come out with a bet. See if Ant Banks can stay disciplined. No, he's reaching for chips. Make it look like a value bet. He's really representing that king right now with that play, Vic. 85. Not even a third of the pot. Sacco doing his best Ben's Ben Kingsley here, trying to get an Oscar for that performance. Here comes the river. And I think Sacco has to check this right now. Goes all in. And a quick fold here. There really wasn't any cards that... I mean, a player's leading into you like that. Gosh, he was doing so good just checking it over. The opponent only at 8-high. Obviously, we can see the cards, though. Yes. That's a huge advantage. It's easy for us to call that. Yeah, but with the hearts out there and the missed draw, some, sometimes, you know, you're thinking maybe he's on hearts. Fires if he misses. Just really hard to get paid off on a board like that with a king, king, 3-3 three, three deuce out there. Maybe if there was a little bit something better, you know, like King, King, Jack, Jack three, three or something, yeah. And maybe you thought maybe you had two pair and you get something, but yeah. And MGM Bob waking up with a big pair of Jacks. Looks like we had a $10 button straddle. Over the Sako now with the suited queen. Looks like he's stacking these chips up just to try to bust MGM Bob's uh, big pair. He does. He's free rolling this hand. Buddha now. Get down at deuces. Uh oh. Makes the call. <laughs> Anthony out of the way. Mayhem. Ace deuce. And he's going to come along. Four players. 203 in the middle. We have a three queen four board Sako flopping top pair. He's got best. Oh. Got a gut shot here for Mayhem. Damn it, I know I'm ahead right now. 
First time we've seen Mayhem play, but I can't believe he's going to, based on what I've seen so far, I can't believe he's going to come along for this gut shot. Not feeling that with two players in there. Pretty much know you need a five and a five only. We do see players on our live stream that would have made that call, but right now it's a heads up. A check from MGM Bob. And an all-in from Sacco and a quick fold from MGM Bob. And the last five minutes, Sacco on a heater, back-to-back -back hands, raking in some nice pots. He's up to 1,200. Life is good. Look at those standings right there, Vic. Already, it's only 740 <laughs> right now. So a little bit over an hour, and we have three players of over 1,000, one player at 1,500. Mayhem's at 900. And once again, this is a 500 max buy-in game. We're about to hit a bop. We weren't ahead of me. I wouldn't have won. If you didn't have a queen, you weren't ahead of me. Sure. I did not have a queen. You weren't ahead of me. Yeah, I'm a bachelor this week. I, I am, though, on uh, grandpa duty. Oh, 14 year old eighth grader. It's not a bad duty to be on. No, not at all. He's a great kid. I enjoy being with him. Now you got an excuse to get a nice uh, meal, too. I have to do a grandpa, you know, meal. That's a good idea. Good food. Good idea. Anytime you got an excuse to eat something good, take it. You get a call for three. And right now, 7 6 suited. I think we have multiple players that love that hand. Oh, and MGM Bob not playing around here with Ace Queen suited on the button, trying to get all the dead money. Making it 150 to go. It's gonna be hard to see someone want, someone wanting to come along for that price if they only got ten dollars or less in. Most likely gonna take this down unless someone really gets froggy. And if it's anyone, I'm gonna probably pick Enright with the seven six suited. Just saying. Rocking four over there, I'm right. He's rocking to the beat. I see that. It's I'm, I'm thinking he's saying call full. Call all hundred. You walk in the dance class. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. And there it is. And right, making the call with seven six suited. Like I said, that's the only player with the hands we see. He's got gamble in him, folks, and we love him for it. Heads up, heads up action. Every player only has ten dollars in the pot, and all of a sudden there's three fifty-four. Ace queen for seven six, and Enright. Oh my! Flop a top pair with an open-ended straight draw on MGM Bob, and he checks it over. Music to Mr. Enright's ears right here. Gave him some rope. He took the bait and. Folks, don't be surprised if you see a shove here. I read it all in. There it is. Hi, mm. call. call. And Bob is priced in now with the pot size. The call, we're getting it all in on this flop. Six, seven. And that's about as close as Bob gets to a... a his draw dropping when he saw those uh, when MGM Bob saw those uh, two cards come out. His jaw dropped a little bit. And that's the uh, beauty of Bob Enright's game. It really is not easy to put Bob on a hand at any given time. No. We call that you got Enright. In. It's pretty close to being OG'd on Tuesdays. All right, here we go. Bob's going to need a little run good here. As you see, a couple aces and queens are already in the muck. And there's a 10 of spades and another 10, and that's going to hold up. Enright is going to bring home a 1K pot over his way. 
Oh, nice hand, sir. Big one. Game keeps heating up. This has been a fantastic Thursday Just night. Just amazing start. game not so even far. Not 8 o'clock tonight. No. It's not even 8 o'clock yet. Yeah. We are just uh, less than an hour and a half into this. That won't be the last time you see a hand like that. And, I, you know, we do this from time to time, Dom, where we have to look at each other and remind ourselves what the game is. This is a 1-3 game. This is a 1-3 $500 buy-in. And the action's just been spectacular. I think we've had five, maybe six uh, re-ups at 500. So we're already at around $8,000 at this table. And the night is young. Hey, I don't want to play well. I want to run well. Looks like there's Nikki coming in. Getting ready to come in the box. Those chip counts are correct this early. Don't worry about me, baby. Not even. Just hit 745. I can deal you two cards, and that's about all I can do. There you go. Brian, Brian checking in from Pennsylvania. Brian. Brian. As in. Brian. is uh, Marty. Anybody else, tell us where you're uh, checking in from. We always like to know where folks are watching from. <laughs> Neil Brinkman here in Toledo watching from his uh, Lazy Boy chair. If he's been good, otherwise he's out on the porch. Kip from Gaylord, Michigan. Love it up in that area. And Alan just joined us. We got Texas from Jason. Jason from Texas. Yeah, Mr. Dunbar. Man, Pennsylvania, Texas in the house. $70. Gaylord, Michigan. From four hours away, oh. Mayhem now joining us for the first time tonight. And he's going to raise with Ace-8. And the uh, chips are coming in fast and furious. Big hand alert coming up here. The kid needs 60 to complete. He's got Ace Deuce. And I got to believe Enright is going to say, why not? It's contagious at the table. And Buddha's going to put everybody to the challenge here. Nine five. Nine five. five. He's gonna push all in. Everyone wants to gamble? Well come gamble. Nine five offsuit. All you can eat buffet. Four thirty to go. Great table tonight. They are not waiting around for pocket aces versus pocket kings, folks. They came to play. Sako really is the player that he really has to sweat right here. He's the only player with a pair. You don't see any huge hands. Oh, boy. Levine. Oh, man, and Levine has him hemmed up right now. 10-9 versus 9-5. These players love the gamble. I'm getting jacked up on Mountain Dew just back here. No pun intended. No, yeah. I really do have a Mountain Dew. The, uh, <laughs> the anti-green water, or brown water. It's green water. Yes, I mean, no. If I drank that stuff, I would lose uh, cognitive abilities. <laughs> so I stay away from oh. it. <laughs> big here big Mike go. now has been pretty quiet. He's just got uh, a little over 200 left here. Queen nine of spades. He might want to gamble here. Yeah, with only 200, I, he's already go got. Ways. Yeah, and he's already got. Uh, I can understand 90 in there. I can understand the full side. I can also understand the call. That yeah. is literally, you can go either way with that one. Yeah. I pulled a winner. You better not have But he's going to be sick when he sees that Queen Knight had this hand dominated so bad. Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh, it was oh we've a got a misread. I'm sorry, folks. Oh so we did have a misread, but still, let's still. Be in great shape. That makes more sense with a pair of sevens. We had one, and one of the boxes is a misread of sevens. I'm kind of feeling this one for me. So it was not as uh, crazy of a push 
as we thought it was. Well, we saw a couple of nines, though, go in the mug. And I think, I think Enright still wants his cards back. Nice hand. Nice hand. <laughs> And we got a four, oh deuce, God. eight board. And there's Enright's oh diamonds. Oh, my God. And there's a oh, 10 for Levine. Diamond. Seven and a seven only will save Buddha right here. 1,000 in the pot. And Levine <laughs> is on fire <laughs> tonight. <laughs> the heater. Enright called it. He said he was folding the winning hand. <laughs> if you ain't in, you ain't winning. You know he's at the bottom of his range there. Seventeen hundred dollars in the pot. Uh, Levine. Small boy. You got some blue back there, Buddha? That's where you Can you give me 20 and uh, call the raise, shoot a flop? Drop 10. Oh. Give me 20. Everyone tuning in. Oh, yeah. It's Thursday night, and I know there are bigger games. We have a Tuesday night game. There's other live streams that we've all seen, other poker shows, where I'm telling you, when this Thursday night game is like this, pound for pound, this is the most action poker you will see on any poker live stream. Just action Jackson, wild ro roller coaster rides. <laughs> What a great night of cards on this rainy Thursday. Perfect poker weather. Yeah, if I get sevens, I'm 50%, he's 50%. Grab a beverage, get a blanket. Oh, man. Watch that cards. It's going to keep up here because we've got a raise from Enright of uh, 50. A raise from Big Mike and a call from Enright and now a call from Buddha. Well, you're seeing 7 6 and 10 9 playing for all this money. King 10. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Here we go. Why do I think this is going to be all low cards? Yeah. And, well, we do have an ace. Eight. Ace, deuce, rainbow, board, Buddha. Flopping a monster. Top pair. $125 bet. Buddha working on trying to climb back out of the holes he's in so far, but we've seen him do this before. And uh, Boca Johnny from Florida doing a shout out to uh, MGM Bob. And uh, I'll make sure that uh, MGM Bob gets that message. By the shortly. way, MGM Bob wanted to do a shout out to Beth, the best, the best masseuse, masseuse in the state of Michigan. Yeah. Three six off, no back for us. There's the updated standings. We now have a player at 2300 on a $500 max buying game. Not even two hours into the live stream. Not even two hours. You know, Vic, I, I don't know if we're going to see it in a hand or two, if we got to wait an hour. But the way this game is being played, you know, certain nights you can see players sometimes fold tens and jacks to aces or kings. The, with what hands we're seeing, with the amount of money going in the middle, I don't think it's almost like an instant call if someone makes a move with jacks or tens. And someone's going to get paid off. Just an absolute action packed Thursday live at the reserve on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Man, we got final table Kev in the house all the way from Texas. Guest celebrity yeah. on the message board. Love it. One of the finest. Kevin Hope all as well. And you're tuning into a doozy, Kevin. We have seen action up and down in our 1-3, $500 max buying game. Not even two hours in, someone up to 2300 Seven six suited, being played for 300 Ten nine for sevens, getting it all in for a thousand dollar pot pre flop. Raise the fifty. Fifty dollars to go. Fold. A couple of folds. I don't know if I've known what that word is. Fold. 
that word really <laughs> that saying hasn't really had much merit tonight. Fold. What's that? Call. Well, definitely a four-letter word for most of these guys. <coughs> Sacco's coming in with the ace deuce oh, offsuit. Three players. Three players going to the flop now. 183 in the middle. We saw some great action early from the kid. A little quiet, but now he does hit this. Yeah. Eight five five. Quick. Corey, three of a kind. Like you said, the kid still got a good piece of it, Vic, with Jack 8. Troubled hand here. 65. Now back over the Saco. Just ace high. He's thinking about putting a move. Call. Music to Corey's ears. Both players. Adding in money on the button with 6-5, flopping three of a kind. Raise, 300 now. 300 to go. Corey not messing around with the straight draw and the flush draw out there. Multi-players in the pot. Pretty textbook play right here, the standard play. The respectable play. Kid making a move. This is a uh oh spaghetti -o moment. He's gonna see the news. He's drawing a little thin here. Great opportunity for an $882 pot here. Two cards to go. Spades. There goes a check mark for Corey. All but said, and he's going to win a big one. Mm. Oh, I'm not going nowhere on the turn. Oh. I'm not going. I call 65 to see the turn for Spades. And to final or table, maybe. Kevin, if you're still oh. there, buddy, definitely love the Attitude Era, the Golden Era of hey. wrestling. Happy WrestleMania season to everybody. <laughs> nice hand. And what a big oh, hand we hear. I'm not going yeah, nowhere on Corey. the turn. Congratulations. Who's really been on a comeback? Corey got felted early on. And now he's really grinding his way back to where this gentleman was stuck 500. And now Corey's up to 1,600, 600 ahead. In just a short period of time, we talk about the roller coasters of life. Well, how about the roller coasters of poker, folks? This man's been up and down, but he is on the up and up right now. There's the V-Pip, so you see how active everyone is. Look at that. The lowest player at the table, 28% of the flops he's seen. We have an action table. Nobody's playing tight. Everyone's seeing flops. Multiple players at 50% or higher. The top three. Just a great game. $10 now. Yep. Call. Fold. Raise to 55. Fold. Fold. Right. Pocket aces now for Corey. Not only do you stack a player off by hitting three of a kind, you get aces the very next hand. Life is good. Hallelujah. Raise. 180 now. Ooh. 
Levine made it 55. He's pretty much going to just a tad bit over 3x by just a couple bucks. Oh, and Enright waiting in the weeds with the ladies. Most of the times you love ladies night. Everyone loves ladies night, but not right now. Not with American Airlines. Run away. Flying in. Retreat. Oh. Just a smooth call. Mayhem now getting out of the way with Jack-10 offsuit. Levine, the initial raiser. Yeah, with more than one player in there. Price 10. Three players. 563 over a starting stack already in the middle. And we have Deuce. Check 10. Check. 3. Thank you. Levine with a gut shot. Both players with an overpair. Under half pot. And you know it's going to be curious here if Enright just smooth calls this. Levine's up at 2100. He has over four stacks in front of him. Does he sweat oh. one to see if he can turn a spade or hit a four? Yeah, and look at him. You really have to wonder with that call. And I think if he had less chips, this would be an easy fold. But like I said, he's <clears throat> up to 2,100 now, still behind. Oh. Yeah, and he's going to make the call. So now three players three going players. to the turn. Levine hoping for either a spade or a four. Two over pairs, and there is a nine. Check or bet? Check. Most likely this will be the end of Levine in this hand with that turn. Check. Corey has enough now where he could shove. Check. Oh, a check. Oh, free a free card. card. Oh, oh, the king oh, my comes goodness. out. And you know, that that king check. with the free card could cost Corey. Check. He's oh, just going to check it down. Shock I there. A little key. strange how that played Ooh. out. Yeah, the king comes out well. so yeah and I think, I think he's going to see those queens and realize, yeah, man, on that turn, I could have gotten all of it. Two colors. The old saying, sometimes scared money don't make money. Yeah, and, and he he admits to being scared on, um, with that board. We have the ability to see the cards. Hindsight is twenty twenty, and he is definitely going to realize he left some uh, money on the table. We are at five tables now in the main room for tonight's satellite. And um, haven't done this in a while. we got to do a shout-out to our security guard. A regular security guard, Richard, and uh, he's got a new guy training in tonight, Patrick, coming to us with uh, over four years of uh, security here in the Toledo area. So shout out to our security guards. They're going around the table, Vic. Very next hand, Ants Banks with aces. Oh, there they are again. Now, are we going to see another decently sized pair of these on again, back to back hands? Sacco with Queen Jack coming along. Big Mike with deuces. The kid with Jack 10 suited. Coming along for the ride. Yeah, why not? You're getting priced in now. For a kid that's only, and he calls himself the kid, but the kid that's only been playing for a year and a half, he's really shown some moxie. He likes to mix it up. And when it's uh, the opportune time, he's put the pressure on, and oh, my goodness, 270 in the pot, Dom, and we've got six players in this hand. What a game to play. Six players? And we have a seven, queen, five, couple of spades right away. Ace is still firmly in the lead. Sako does pick up top pair. One seventy five, my guess. No, bigger than that.
Two thirty. Oh, 180. Those are th stacked in threes. 180. That's Zocco calling. Probably just trying to make sure it's not Ace King floating on a C bet right here. <sighs> Folds going around the table. Looks like most likely this will be heads up unless we see something out of the ordinary. Here we go. Here comes the turn from Nikki. Three of state or clubs on the turn. Yeah, a real brick. Yeah, the only hand you really have to worry about with that three is six four. I highly doubt you're putting a player on six four in this situation. Unless maybe it is Mr. Enright at the table. All in. <laughs> Just because he has such a wide range. All in. Other than the queen, Sako really not drawing to anything else here. No straight draw, no spit, no uh, flush draw. Uh, Four sixty-one. Came close to calling his hand out. Said uh, pocket kings, but no, it's worse than that, Sako. Or better, I should say, pocket Four, aces. Four sixty-one. He says potato, Vic says potato. <laughs> Basically he's screwed right now with an overpair. And the computer, our program, our system knows that uh, there are three of those oh. cards and two outs only. He needs a jack and a jack only. He makes the call. Yeah, the ladies are in the muck already. This is a nice size pot here, 1600 Vic. 1600. Do we just keep repeating 800 or more pots the whole night? Uh, I guess. Between get 1800 a and 1600. Yeah. Nikki, nice job getting this view for us. The pot's right. Cards are right where we can see it. And there's a seven of clubs and the aces hold. Two hands in a row. The aces have prevailed. We had a $1,200 pot just the hand before right now a sixteen hundred dollar pot and with all that action thank you wizard for being on top of it the chips are moving around so you're seeing us put the the chip count up here a lot more often tonight because it's just a little bit more difficult to follow the action because like i just said vic every other hand i swear we're hitting over eight hundred dollars or more in the pot chips are moving around Twenty-four hundred, nineteen hundred, sixteen hundred. Already in this live stream, we're at eight oh eight p.m. Unbelievable! In the first two hours of the show, we've had some nights going into the final hour where the chip leader is twenty-four hundred, and that's nothing to scoff at. Right? That's literally, almost five stacks. Yeah. In front of you. In this early, early, we're already there. Now we're doing it within two, the first two hours. No. Now the kid. What that and you talked about him mixing it up, Vic. Well, here he is again, getting creative with the king six suited, bumping it up to 35. He's seeing all the action at the table. He wants some. And right now, with the way the table's playing, almost any two cards, you're justified calling anything under $50. You're going to get paid off if you hit. Well, now we got an ace, four, seven board. Rainbow flop, Vic. Top pair for Mr. Enright. And really, if you look at it, no one has a whole lot of anything else. Mayhem's going to bet it anyway. Put 50 out there with his four. Yeah, bottom pair is about oh. it. The kid missed all of this. So out of the way, see if Enright wants to smooth call this or make a raise. He does make the call. Oh. 
Heads up. Would have just played in his position right there, see if it, see if he can hit an ugly flop and get paid off. Check a bet. Turn card. Second club. Check. Call. And now Enright going for value and also getting a little information. Betting the same bet, 50. See what his Check opponent that. does. Jack Check. of diamonds. Check. Show me a winner. Check it down to showdown here. Pair fours. And uh, Enright turning Pair over eight. the ace eight. Taking down a pot. I like that play by 50, Vic, and I want to tell you why. Yeah. Right now, he bets 50 on the turn. He takes Thanks control. Back. He gets the keys to the car. You got to ace you're unsure of with ace eight. Right. But all that does is... Get some a check back where if if you maybe just check again, you might have to face a tough decision with bottom pair where he's going to try to steal it. Mm -hmm. Maybe bet two thirds of the pot, and then you're like, oh, not really sure where I'm at. Bets fifty, gets a check back on on the river, makes an easy check, no decision time. Here comes the showdown, bring in the pot, stress free, and you get a little value. Chasing two pair. Believe it or not, I almost folded him clean free flop. Almost. Interesting comment there from uh, <laughs> Mr. Enright going back to uh, that aces versus queens. And here's the aces again for the third time in the last 20 minutes. Wow. <laughs> going around the table. <laughs> Pardon? I said I should have been betting that turn. Oh, you ain't lying. 75 to go from MGM. Looks like we're going to get four players going to the flop here. 3 0 1 in the middle. And here we go. Lights, camera, action. Queen, deuce, five, Vic. Couple Rainbow. Players. Yeah, hitting their deuces right there. 200. <laughs> and he bets two thirds of the pot. <laughs> Levine wants to see what he's got left, and uh, MGM Bob is not obliging, covering up his chips. <clears throat> all in jest, folks. All in jest. Getting smiles from uh, everybody there at the table, including uh, ourselves. And so Bob takes that down with the aces. Let's like see if they show, show up again soon. Right now, with how this game is being played, I would not show any of my hands. You're going to get paid off if you hit a hand. There's zero reason why to show any cards right now. You're getting called most of the time. You're going to get paid off. The least amount of information that you're giving to your opponents, the better right now. Yep. I agree. Give everybody a big pair. Uh, All right, we got a request from Buddha to Nikki. Asking to give everybody a big pair. You know how we love those hands. Well, we got the opposite. We got pocket deuces. <laughs> it's a pair, but not very big. Big Mike going to limp in here with his king nine. Mr. Enright coming along with a couple of hearts. A couple of little ones. And ace jack for mayhem. I was about to say, if you're limping in with king nine underneath the gun, be prepared to at least call 50. Now it's going to be 75 on the button. 75. Good job there, MGM Bob. Call. 75. You know, Vic, I was just about to say, you know, you can't even standard 4x, 3x preflop with some of these hands. You almost got to make it even with $10, 75 to get it heads up. And still now, we're going to look. You're not even going to get it heads up. And it's not like all these players have monsters. You got 9, 8, 5, 3 suited, and ace jack now going to the flop all together for 75 pre flop in a 1 3 blind game. Beautiful. 250 in the pot. Nikki at the helm. Here comes the flop. Oh, seven, boy. 7, 10. 
open-ended straight draw for Sako. Curious to see if he'd represent the seven there with the semi-bluff. He'd still have outs if he gets called. Mayhem reaching check. for a continuation bet. He's going to make it 50. Trying to see where he stands. Now if Sako wants to get creative here, with 300 in the pot, he's just going to smooth call. He's going to smooth call. Mr. Enright, I believe, is going to get out of the way. Not the kind of thing he chases down. Mayhem's in great shape, as you can see. He's blocking the straight with his jack in his hand. Eight outs here for Sako. And there's one of them. The best card he could have hit. The six of hearts. Actually, I take that back. A jack would have been a better way, because then you get give your opponent top pair, top kicker. But still. One of my buddies from Florida asked me if I need a loan. <laughs> I think this will be easy. Pull for The flush gets there. The straight gets there. You have no pair. <laughs> Needles coming in from out of state. It's all right. That's all right. I know. There's really nothing you can beat. Like I said, Nine High just got there with the straight. Call. Need, it, Let's see. He's going to keep him honest. Straight. Dealer change, Daniel Sun coming in. This is uh, Brian Sterling saying he was watching from Fairborn, Ohio. Fairborn, Ohio in the house? Rob Minish from Dayton, Ohio. Dayton, too. Love it. Thanks for tuning in. Terry Cole, Terry K. We always know where to find him. But I wanted to uh, bring up the fact and that, that uh, Johnny, I did send a message there, and he just got uh, MGM Bob got the message that you said hello. MGM Bob got creative and said, uh, "This is my buddy from Florida, giving me a message, wondering if I need a loan." Again, we're on a 15-minute delay, so that was so. Uh, I went out there a little bit ago to hand that to him and to see how the tournament was going. Great turnout for tonight's satellite. Five tables. That's a satellite for the $100,000 prize pool guarantee. And that starts a week from tonight, from today, on the 21st. <coughs> Multi-day tournament, six day one flights. The other night there was a guy in seven thousand dollars. Go to the reservepoker.com. You can see our schedule open here seven days a week, but also the schedule for these big tournaments we got coming up. Bomb pot time. Single board because we're ten handed. We got a three clean jack board, rainbow. Mr. Enright, he's clean right now. Okay. Checks it. I'm pretty impressed with you. Seven dollar hole on this one. Uh, seventy-five. Anyone with the mega wrap? Well, top two pair for Levine. He's gonna bet seventy-five. Oh. Sako is gonna come along. Ball in moment here for Big Mike. Oh man, flopped a set of jacks. They, man, all the jacks are out there. Flopped a set and he's open ended with the 10 9. Yeah, all the jacks in play with an open ended. Don't play home. I'll tell you what, folks. That's the second best hand pretty much available. Other than Queens with an open ended straight draw, but you have mid set with an open ended straight draw. Yeah, the kid's going to go all in here with a set of threes. Oh wow, what a cooler. We've got the rain coming down on the roof right now, as you, you can, can hear in the background. Hear yeah, you can hear it through the mics, the rain. Hitting pretty powerful stuff. Is this the first time we've heard the rain this loud? No, uh, we've heard it like this before. Yep. Computer has Levine at zero percent, so there are no more 
queens or jacks here for him to hit a uh, full house. Yeah, and all the actually, jacks. if he would need a queen, queen because and queen only, because a uh, queen and queen only. And there's no more jacks coming, obviously. I mean, unless he could play his queen and jack in a straight situation. I mean, like a, a queen ten or a jack ten in a straight situation, runner 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 runner. But look at I all think the with all uh, the outs, all the cards that were thrown in the muck, all the cards in players' hands. They're already gone. Continues to build. We're going to have a uh, shock that he made that call. He's going to be drawn to a ten or an ace. We're going to have a side side pot here. So yeah, or a runner runner four deuce. Daniel Sun taking the time to make sure that we get these uh, these pots right. Well, this is a big one. It's already fifteen hundred, and there could be some more coming in to the pot between Levine and Sacco. I don't believe that they are all in yet, so the betting is not done. And we're just going here to the turn. Oh, an oh. ace on the turn? Wow. Nobody with the straight, and Levine might be able to get away from this one now. Nope. Nobody with a flush draw, nobody with King-10. Big Mike's got 9-10. No, King-10 for Broadway, I'm saying. Oh, King, that's right. The King has to be. Uh, yep, nobody's got King-10. This game might be illegal. Wow, what sick a game. card for Sacco. Just a sick <laughs> turn card. Uh, straight from the devil. Go ahead. I think if you're Levine, you know this is no good. You can see Sako and the kid both have a, a king. All right. That's why Fair he has a zero percent chance. Yeah. Uh, what? Dog, oh, yeah, I told it. I had a feeling Ace is yeah. coming. Come on, pair the board. Are we going to see quads? Like Sick. Straight. Not straight. You got there anyway. Not straight. Broadway. <laughs> oh, hey, my goodness. The dealer. And Sokka wow. with a profit 1100 Holy and a 1500 damn, pot. What a sick, Just what a, a sick monster. dirt. What a, you know, what a sick dirt. He shifted it, did it. That was, did that was last did ace, too. Called it for an ace or a 10. One uh, outer. Sick. Outer. Sick. I play good old one, huh? Ace's not even good for you. Sokka loving uh, life right now. I, I didn't want an ace. I wanted a 10. Conan ace, in the house. But I thought if I had an ace, I would Conan, good. you just came in with a doozy. The this has been one of the, the most excellent yeah, Thursday nights we've had in the history of Thursday nights. Welcome. A lot of money on the table. Yeah, after that hat, I'm going to hit the hearts just because I love how this game is going tonight. You can hit that yourself. But more importantly, if you uh, haven't yet hit the uh, thumbs up button, please do so. We greatly appreciate it. We're coming close to 50 here. And we appreciate it. Also, we're at about 3,600 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed, please do. Good turn, sir. Call time. That's, what, that's how much blockers are worth. Mm -hmm. That's all about blockers. Never call the bases. 
Especially when you get a little better at Omaha. You know? That's right. It's a whole life. Right? <laughs> they just got to learn how to play. Huh? I lost like half a million in Omaha <laughs> before, <laughs> before I learned to call aces. Before I called aces. <laughs> okay. I was going to say. You can't play. Come on. 75. 75. They're playing up there or anything? What's up there? Tournament. Yeah, satellite. I think they probably still do that. Yeah, you know, I ain't going to do that right now. Two hours in already. Eight levels. Maybe I'll choose on the level of the Call. We have five players going to the flop now. 396 in the middle. Queen 7 4. Couple of spades. Sure. And right now, looking at sure. Sure. all of these hands, Mayhem surprisingly sure. still the lead with just King 10. And now a five of spades on the turn. The 3 6 Mafia. Sure. Turning the straight, but Mayhem now with the king high flush draw. That could be an action card. Turn right with the current straight right now. Hitting the gut shot. Buddha folded his 9-8, and so does Anthony. This would be... Man, he's, the, he's under 400 right now. This is an expensive call with just one card to go. But at the same time, this gentleman drove about four hours to play on this live stream. And he Good loves point. The gamble. Yeah, absolutely. So you might be thinking, why not? Let's have some fun. So Mr. Enright takes down uh, this pot with a $321 profit. So he's going to build uh, his stack back up again over his $500 buy-in, close to 1000 And here's the V-pip so far for tonight. Not too much of a surprise there with the top three or four, but they're pretty close in uh, V-pip. Mr. Enright just took uh, pot down with a couple of little clubs, but this time he gets rid of the 8-4 clubs. Buddha lays down the Dolly Parton 9-5. And we're going to see the smallest pot we have seen tonight. Two hours of play. <laughs> You're not better. lying. I just realized there's only $31 in the pot. People are calling, you know, $150 preflop with 8-7 and 6-3 and 5-4. And Big Mike now. Gets a pair and a flush draw out of this flop. Granted, it is bottom pair. MGM Bob now with mid pair. Hits the jack. Has to face a bet of $50, but he lets it go. And a hand. Finally a hand for Big Mike. And he shows 
Finally. And now he's and now he's uh, he's not at risk of having to pay up forty dollars. I believe the very first round of the no knit uh, button went to Mike this time. I think it went to the kid. Everybody, the, the last person standing with the yellow no knit chip in front of them pays $40 off of their stack it out of the pocket. They did do a vote for that tonight and decided that that $40 would go right into the uh, dealer appreciation bucket. Wonderful. And Big Mike now in the small blind. With $10 button straddle, king, queen of clubs. Maybe he can get some momentum going here after that last hand. And he's going to raise it up to 50. Buddha with jack 10. And he's going to make the call. Anthony. The momentum has shifted for him, and he has... Now built his stack up over a thousand. Levine up over a thousand makes the call with six two of clubs. Here we go. Four players now going to the flop. Two oh three at stake. Nice little sweetener there. Extra sugar in your Kool-Aid. And a seven eight king rainbow board. Big Mike. Flop and top pair. Same with Sako. Two hundred. Two hundred. Here we go. Yeah, I think Sako's going to look at the amount behind him. It's either you have to fold or push them all in. The bet pretty much has what he bet behind him. Yeah. There's zero point of just smooth calling this. Oh. And okay, and he's going to do it. Five. Now mm -hmm. give Sako some outs. Oh, Mike. And Mike's going to keep the, put the pressure on here. Go all in, and he's going to get Sacco to call. So the momentum has shifted to uh, Mike's favor here. And oh my goodness, look at this. Sacco hits a six on the river, wow. and the gut shot for the straight. Oh, I thought the momentum was shifting here in Mike's favor just as I say that. It's a, you know, then the, the fortunes change. That is um, Big Mike coming to us Oof. for only the second time. Um, first time on the, uh, or only for the second time, but he's coming to us from Westland. Wanted to. Uh, he wanted to give a shout out to You Know Who You, you know Are. Who You Are. So, so I don't you know, know who you are a, is out there. I don't know if that's a lady friend or a best friend. or. And I think Mike, yep, he's grabbing his coat. It was, it was a tough night for Mike. Again, I thought maybe. I'll it say was the fortunes were going to change for him, and just when we thought that, the river comes in Sacco's favor, hitting a gut shot. I'll say this. Wow. He got his money in good, Vic. There's nothing else you can do. One card to go. Big favorite. Just had to dodge, what, two cards, really? Like a nine or a six? A nine or a six, basically. And yeah, got unlucky, but... Oof. We've all been there. Just Everyone a reminder, that was Daniel's son that did that and not Poison Arm Paul. Here's a raise from Mayhem to 30. The kid now in the big blind, 9-7, going to make the call. Enright finds a hand he doesn't like and gets out of the way, so we're going to go four-handed here to the flop. We go. 131 in the middle. We have a 10-3 queen board. Top pair for Mayhem. Check, check. Oh, and he checks it. Very interesting here. A free card. And now a king of diamonds on the turn. Check. Mayhem's got a queen with the open-ended straight draw. Yeah. It over hits, but... And there's two nines out there and two aces out there, so there isn't too much there to help him with that straight draw. Oh. But he does have the top pair, or he's got the uh, the queen with the jack kicker, and Levine's going to come along. Levine hoping for a little gutty. 
six blank. Mayhem still with the check mark. Let's see if he gives him some rope. Check. Check. And Mayhem's going to take down this pot. 231 in the middle. And he shows, and he gets rid of his yellow no knit chip. Now, we got Concrete no, Dave on here saying, who's the 14-year-old kid? For one thing, his nickname is The Kid. He knows he's a baby face, and he's playing some good poker, Concrete Dave. His nickname is The Kid. He's The Kid. It's all in the name. He knows he's a baby face. He's not the Cincinnati kid, but he is from Ohio. <laughs> Gallopolis, 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 Ohio. Yes, that's a tongue twister for that I name. Am, I'm butchering that, and I apologize. I told him I would apologize if we butcher it. I'm trying, you're trying, we're doing our best, but that one is a tongue twister. I love it, Bob. You're the best. Mayhem now picking up ace, king, suited, and diamonds. We said earlier, coolest part about him, he's a commercial fisherman. Goes out to the Massachusetts area, and he catches humongous fish, sells them across the world. Anthony, you want some? Amazing. Goes for the big tuna. Basically, commercial fishermen and poker. And, uh, Wizard, do we need to put out the bat signal for that open seat? Yes. We need to put out the bat signal, see if we can get... Uh, okay, I can see what I can do. Shimmy in here. Tarantula Nick is dealing. Okay. See what I can do. I'll get on it. Sacco getting a flush draw here. The preflop Razor Mayhem Ace King of Diamonds continuation bet of 30. Opening the door here for Sacco to make this call. And a call here from Buddha, who hit a piece of this with his 10-7, and here comes the turn, and there's the spade for Sacco. Thank you, Marty. I appreciate that. Thank you very much. 60. 60. <coughs> call. That signal is out of commission tonight. He is in dad mode. The wife is working. What about Tim? Well, so I'll give Tim a little ringer. One ten. One ten. Going to Value Town. He's probably not going to get a call here, unless he thinks he's making a a hero call. This one might be better. Hollywood, baby, Hollywood. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Concrete Dave says he'll back you for a thousand. Me? That's what he says. I mean, if that, if he can approve that, if we can get Adam back here, I would gladly go play here. <laughs> If Concrete Dave would do that, you never Concrete know. Dave, you call you call Marissa in the front desk, and if you can work that out, I'll gladly go on there. If you back me, we got to see if we can get Adam back here too, Phil, for the second half of the show. That would be. Well, I'm not going to lie, that would be sick. I don't mind being all by myself. I've never played birthday. on here, you know. What do you say? What did you say, Wizard? I didn't hear the Wizard. I want to hear what he. Oh, yeah, oh, five tables, five out, tables there. out there. Oh, okay, Adam's enough. not uh, getting cut loose anytime well, soon. Concrete Dave, if you can call and somehow make that happen, I, I'm game for it. <laughs> I would love to go on the live stream for the first time. I could hear Marissa's response on the phone. Who is this? <laughs> it's Concrete Dave. I got PayPal. <laughs> I turned, I turned a bomb pot. What do you I want? Turned bomb pot. I turned a bomb pot. I turned a bomb pot. Turn this up. So I know I was good on the turn. No, you were good on the turn? 45. Oh, sure. What if they bet all in all? Negotiations yeah. begin. Wraps? Nah. We got a pot brewing here, though. We got four players. <laughs> 244 in the pot. Fours and threes and 
All kinds of stuff. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Levine hitting a set of threes. Sacco hitting open-ended. MGM Bob with a gut shot. Mayhem with pocket fours. This could get messy. Not a bad flop for pocket fours. But he gets out of the way. Bob gets out of the way. And a call here from Levine. Ace oh, my the goodness. Turn and the ace of oh. spades. The straight hits. The straight hits for Sacco. There's still some outs of board could pair. 175. I can't see Levine folding this. And the fact that he's got a spade oh, in his hand, kidding. you might believe that is possibly Dude. live. Here are the seven outs. Oh, and a full house! Full house. What My a turn! Goodness. What a river! Back to back bangers! Doesn't work for anybody else. Oh my goodness, and Levine got it all. Levine got it all. My goodness. 2,600. Who sang the song? I want it all. This is good. I want it now. Whatever that is. I don't know. That's what Levine got. You got me there. That was a classic rock song. I I was hoping. I think it was Queen. But still, Levine with the banger. What a turn. What a river. A true seesaw of events. And Levine is back up to 2,600. And JF from Montreal, it seems like every time you just come on, we have a really big hand. And that certainly was a big hand. And JF, you have missed uh, a lot of action here tonight for our Thursday night, No Knit Thursday. $500 buy in. Race free flop. One three no limit hold'em cash game, and we're close to ten grand on the table already. I know there's at least nine thousand out there. The action has been hot and heavy. That last hand is no exception. We're going to eleven fifteen tonight. We are not even three hours into our five hour live stream and the action's just been fantastic. Thanks for joining us, JF. It was funny. I was like, this sounds great. Yeah, he's got that little JF says it's a queen song. Yeah. Oh, I said queen. Did you? Okay. All right. Yeah, JF in the house after WrestleMania season. Ten dollar straddle. And oh my goodness. This has not been uh, indicative of what we've seen here tonight. Thirty one dollars in the pot. Only one other time tonight have we seen the pot so low pre flop. Mayhem gets a piece of this with the five. Everybody's going to check it around. Mayhem still in the lead with his 5-4. Action's on Anthony. 20. He's going to bet out 20, try to figure out where he's at here with his ace-10. Nobody with a spade. And here's raising chips now from Mayhem. Takes it up to 70. A quick fold here from Sacco. Bump it up. And a quick fold there from Anthony. You know those poker nights where you feel tired playing poker? I have a feeling Levine is going to be tired. Yes. You know, you're just sitting down. You're just playing. But he's literally gotten up to like 2,400 super quick. Plays one hand that doesn't go his way, then plays a bomb pot, drops like around a thousand, like yeah. it's fourteen hundred back, <laughs> and then now he's just you know twenty minutes later, fifteen minutes later, wins a monster pot. He's even above where he was before. I mean, it's yeah. literally it's a roller coaster, just a ride, wave of it emotions, emotionally drained. It, I, yeah, it is. 
it's not only uh, physically exhausting to be on a physical roller coaster, but uh, mentally to be in this game and go up and down. Hey, by the way, uh, where's you out? JF with a with a seven dollar tip says, "Cold one for the best commentators." Oh, Thanks for act. the beers. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. What a it. gentleman. So let me grab something for you real quick. I think I got handy. You can go to my locker if you want. The kid now calling. We saw some great action from him early on. He did get felted in a bomb pot where it was set over set over set. He had the low set of threes. But he really is first time on the live stream, and yes, very young man. He is old enough to be here. That much we know. Only playing the game for a year and a half, and he has really shown uh, a lot of moxie and a lot of poker acumen. And now he's going to go heads up against uh, Mr. Enright. <laughs> oh my gosh, Dominic. I walk in and all of a sudden Enright just flops the straight. You know, we like to say OG is, does what OG does, but Mr. Enright does what he, oh, Mr. Enright does. I'm, I'm telling you, I think Mr. Enright, it's it's about to be where it's 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 right below the getting OG'd. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. The kid puts a bet out of 50. And it's been probably well over 50 years that Mr. Enright's been called the kid. Maybe more. Very possible. Oh, and what a terrible card here for the kid. A queen. What's going on, Nick? You all right? Yeah, how are you doing, Bob? Good, man. 80. 80. I need you to help me out, though. What's Bob putting him on right now? Ooh, I'm, I mean, right here, I don't blame if Bob even raises this up because there's so many draws out there, the flush draws out there. You know, maybe he's got two pair a set. So right now, just in case he's on clubs, try to price him in to come along and get more value in case he misses. And happy birthday, brother. Thank you very much. Another trip around the sun, as they say. Hey, a little sip of brown water with my buddy on his birthday. And the kid's coming along with his queen. And like I said, Bob getting max value by bumping it up right there. He's going to chase one card, chasing two pair or a three of a kind. Which Bob would still be in the lead. It's a big whiff. Love that bet. Oh boy. Well, he's going to try to represent the four. Correct. And I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I was say, I don't know what's taking him so long. This I is don't kind know. Of a, it's a borderline slow roll right here. Uh, he's all in for 189. I had it on the black. Just let them know. Oh, boy. Yeah. Man. <sighs> Drama right there. Yeah, for one for 189 with the size of the pot. I'm not sure what the confusion was. Okay, I call. We've got two players up over two grand. We've got three players up over a grand. This is a one three no limit hold'em cash game. Buy in for 500. One of the uh, things that these group these guys uh, agreed to do now on Thursday nights, if there is not a uh, list of players waiting, is to go ahead and re up to 500 and then after 830 if you're below a thousand giving the players an option to up to uh, to re up or to up to a thousand 
Bob, that a thousand. When you can hear that in the background, that's being discussed, and uh, looks like a couple of players are going to take advantage of that situation or get a, of that new rule. Mayhem pulling some money out. Buddha pulling some money out. So the amount of chips on this table just continues to grow. I'll tell you what, Vic. On your birthday, I can't think of a better game than we could have asked for than tonight. No. I this love has it. It's been a fun game to call. I'm having a riot back here, being alongside you for this one. It just hand after hand, banger after banger. And Enright up to 1,400. And just a little pause here while uh, Nick makes sure that he gets the information back to the wizard in the booth. And get all of these uh, chip counts right. We want to make sure that the information we're portraying, uh, relaying to you on these graphics is accurate. And again, we're going till 11.15 here tonight. We were 10-handed. We do have a seat open at this moment. Granted, it's a 15-minute delay. So currently, we're 9-handed. He's 10 for the kid here. Just re up for five. Hungry to get it back. Raise He's going to raise it up to 75. How many stacks of green you got over the Just that front one. Okay. You asked me, right? Yeah, yeah. Just yeah just may have now. Ace Jack back. suited. No, hold sir. Up. Hold up. Hold up. I haven't hold had that green one night. I'm going to try to bowl and turn. That changes things. Well, Sacco also no, coming along with 7-6 of clubs. we got three players going to the flop. 238 in the middle. And queen 5-6. Sacco flop in the best of it. Oh, I'm so, yeah, <laughs> with mid pair. And the kid is going to check it. Oh, that's a great card for Sako. Gets an open ender <laughs> with this pair. I didn't hate the river. I can't lie. I didn't hate the river. 150 is the bet. Really? The kid, a.k.a. Dalton, lays it down. And Mayhem folds. It could have been a base. Sacco takes down a pot. Our next live stream is this Saturday night. That is our regular Joe Poker Show. That is a four-hour live stream beginning at 6.30. They start getting the cards in the air at 6.15. $500 buy-in, 1-3, no limit hold'em. And then Tuesday night will be our, again, our 5 5 10 1000 to $2,000 buy-in. That's a five-hour live stream, and then we will not have a cash live stream on Thursday the 21st, nor on uh, Saturday the uh, 24th, as we will have the $100,000 prize pool guarantee tournament starting on Thursday the 21st. Right. I'm assuming, though, we are definitely going to be trying to get one of those days with our tournament there's on this live stream, no doubt. Always a good chance of that happening, which is why when you subscribe, if you hit that bell, you get notifications. What? I was just. Yep. Hand, you're, you're, you're we're handing it back and forth to each other. Yep. Stocked and to blown. Yep. That notification bell, folks, is so huge ne next to that subscribe button, especially with the bigger this club is getting. We are having more and more consistent big tournaments. And like I said, other than day two, when we give you our day ones for those tournaments, those are all dictated by basically the supply and demand on how busy we are. So those times do vary. So make sure you hit that notification button. And we have a 4-8 king board, couple of hearts. Mayhem Top pair for Mayhem. Mayhem now has played king 3, king 4, king 5 a number of times. I think king 6 was another hand he had earlier on. Uh, wouldn't mind asking if he has kind of an affinity towards that. Yeah, long live the king, right, as they say? 
And he's going to bet 20 and get this down to heads up between he and the kid. The kid needs a three. I think the kid is trying to suck out on him because he's returning the favor, as they say. Yeah. He's still remembering that 3-6 Mafia. Consasis. But Mayhem also gets a gut shot straight draw with that turn. Keeps putting the pressure on, takes it down. Yeah, 13K on the table. Five tables here tonight for the satellite. There will be a voucher given out for every $240 in the prize pool. I leave, I believe last Thursday was seven vouchers were awarded. Hey, Wizard, off the top of your head, have you remembered a game this early in the live stream, not even 9 o'clock, that we've had this much money for a 1-3 game? Usually the Wizard pretty much has an encyclopedia on the live streams that stand out with the sizing. I don't know. Yeah, yes, and the wizard just confirmed he normally has a pretty good memory with that stuff. This is probably the biggest 1-3 game we've ever had, and it's not even 9 o'clock. 14,000 on the table. Good point. One of the, the yeah, Echo wizard, wizard was just quoted as saying that this is probably one of the biggest 1-3 games in the country. Yeah, outside of Las Vegas, I don't think you're going to find another uh, a bigger 1-3 game. I know a number of uh, casinos have gone to 1-3 instead of 1-2. Pittsburgh, I think maybe Philadelphia. Right outside of O'Hare Airport, the Rivers. Yeah, five players going to the flop now. Nine, queen, ten. Couple of hearts. Look at that. Ace high flush draw for the kid. Look at this. We also have Buddha with mid pair and a gut shot straight draw. MGM Bob mid pair with an open ended straight draw. So this is a big hand alert, folks. We could see chips going in the middle. I like the kid betting out for 40 right now, disguising his flush draw, trying to make it look like it's a made hand. Three raises a 140. Seven MGM Bob making it 140. One hundred to call, and he does make the call, and he's got nine outs here. Oh, and that's one of them. But also now three of a kind for MGM Bob. This pot is about to build, and he checks. Two hundred, and here comes the shove. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he's only got... Okay. Yep. It's getting the max here. Seven outs now. What a card. The biggest action card you could have asked for in the deck hits. Oh, and oh. Queen on the river, full house. Oh, man. MGM Bob hits a full house on the river. This kid was playing so well in the first hour. Really, uh, and I, he's he not stopped. playing poorly now. He's not playing poorly now. I, I should clarify that. I'm not saying he's playing poorly. But, man, he's just been getting smacked. Uh -oh. We have a celebrity. Yeah. Bad Beat Keith. Bad Beat the Keith. The urban legend of Bad Beat Keith. This man has an encyclopedia <laughs> of, of Bad Beats. Of Bad Beats. If you talk about those little writing journals with the pen and the pad paper, yeah, he's got trails of Bad Beat stories to tell you all the way through the whole Midwest 
appreciate it. The, the urban legend, Bad Pete Keith, back on the live stream. Good to see him. I am a fan of this gentleman. I hope he put the handle Bad Beat Keith up there. <laughs> I, I'm not sure the wizard knows him by any other name. <laughs> yeah, that's a true story. You're guaranteed if you're an employee at any poker establishment, and if he gets knocked out of a tournament, if he walks by you, you will hear the full description. Nice. And he sits down and gets pocket aces. Oh, look at this. Oh, my oh, goodness. No. And wait, is this kind of set it up for wait. a bad beat story? This is unadulterated poker, folks. This is not scripted. This is not no. edited. And, and, and this, I'll say this. This is gets, happening as it's happening. If he sits down with aces <laughs> and loses the first hand, <laughs> the urban legend of bad beat. Oh, and, and Enright might know about the legend. Oh, I'm surprised. So he raises to 40. Corey with ace queen does a three bet here to 150. Yeah, yeah. He gave the his name. Looks like we'll be going heads up. Once in a while is fine. I really want to find out. And a quick all in here. Oh, and he looks at him. A bad beat, Keith Dom. I'm so nervous now about I what know. might happen here. Just let him take the hand. It's his first hand of the day. Oh boy! Just give it to him, Corey. I, I, you know the queen. Two queens are coming. Actually, technically, if it's bad beat, Keith, we might even see an ace hit and a four card straight out there. Nice, like to play this hand. Yep, he asked me nice. And he got it. <laughs> he said, can, 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 can you please nicely let me give you some aces? Just sit up. <laughs> just sit up. All right. Wow. <laughs> oh, no, no, I, I love bad beat, Keith. Yeah. I don't want to see a bad beat on the very first hand with aces. I'm loving this game tonight for everybody that's watching because I know that they're being uh, entertained to the max. Great game here tonight. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We really appreciate it. Continue to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't done so. And as we mentioned with uh, all of the uh, tournament activity that we've got coming up, subscribe and be sure to hit the, uh, the bell next to that because you'll get notifications. And during our multi-day tournaments coming up uh, right around the corner, the 21st, we've got three day ones, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. And any given one of those nights, we could very well pull together a feature table and be live streaming here. And if you have hit that bell, you're going to get a notification that we're coming on. I'm just glad my boy Bad Beat Keith got out of that one. I just felt a four-card flush coming, four-card straight, something weird. It was almost too good to be true that he gets aces on the first hand. But on to the next one. Just $10 to go. A lot more friendlier, Vic. Yeah. You know, it's a, it's a gentleman's and ladies game. Sacco's going to check his option here after wow. the $10 button straddle, so we're going to go seven-handed to the flop. Well, Tarantula Nick. In the box. Vic, you said it just about two weeks ago. Sometimes these turn into, you know, eight, $900 hands. Yeah, we've seen it before. A couple of kings with a three right on the flop. And right now, I believe Sacco's in the lead with Sacco's ace three. Got the two pairs so far. Mayhem wants to figure out if he could chase some people away with a $15 bet. And he's so far, he gets. Uh, yeah, he gets Sacco the full, but with that many people limped in pot, yeah, I don't blame him to pick a different spot than that. Corey wants to look one up, though. And Corey's got the best hand right now. But Anthony's going to get out of the way. Deuce of spades on the turn. Were you playing in the tournament? Yeah, I was playing there until I come in here. Yeah, it's way better in here. And what's sad is I put a bounty on myself out there. So What's first place up here? I don't know. It's the to a Corey has the check mark next to his name by virtue of the ace, and he is going to check it. This should go down to show how showdown unless Mayhem, yeah, Mayhem's going to make a move here, and if it's not big enough, uh, Corey's probably going to make this call. Sixty dollars, and he does make the call, and that pot goes to Corey. Wow, nice call, Corey, having a pretty good night here tonight. Calls the bluff, wins the pot, poker folks. 
That's not all profit there uh, in front of Corey. He did get felted earlier tonight, but he is in the green for sure. That is my second poker, favorite poker play of the night, Vic. Keeping track of sometimes just, you know, some skillful plays. Great call with ace high right there. Not getting bully balled. And also, don't forget Levine bluffing with just nine high on the river to win a nice size pot earlier against Sako and MGM. Two hands that stick out when you see uh, just, a, you know, skillful plays. <laughs> Getting creative, thinking outside of the box by Chris and Levine. Tyne Creek Dave's in the house. Still Conan out there, JF, Colonel, Mike. Got Chris still in here. Love seeing it. By the way, if you're just tuned in, smash that like button, guys. Let's get up to 100. It really helps out the channel. Gets us out in the YouTube algorithms. Get some random traffic, some new eyes on here. As we're approaching, getting closer and closer to the 4,000 subscribers. Beautiful. Now the aces come again. Boy, uh, what is it? Sixth time tonight, MGM Bob's picking him up, and he's going to raise. He's going to three bet to 65. You know, we saw crazy action earlier on, and we're saying we aren't even seeing really kings and aces at all in the first hour. And now in the last 45 minutes, hour, we've seen some big pairs going around the table. Cards are heating up a little bit. Mayhem. He's going to look him up. Jack-7 offsuit. 144 in the middle. Three, eight, five, rainbow board, and that's not good enough for Jack-7. Pretty standard procedure there. Nothing to see. On to the next hand. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. So, uh, Port St. Lucie in the house from Florida. Thank you very much for those kind comments. We appreciate yeah, it. We've John. got a number of play of viewers here tonight from Florida. Definitely we appreciate Florida uh, all of you very much. And it does seem like we're getting more and more people from Florida saying they're tuning in, and we appreciate you guys down there. Yeah. And trust me, up here in Michigan and uh, Ohio, we love visiting your state around this time of the year. That's and, uh, January, February, <laughs> yep. March, and April. My wife and two daughters in St. Pete tonight until uh, Thursday, until uh, Sunday, St. Pat's Day. So a big shout out to uh, Bill and Marcy Osier, yeah, my sister-in-law and brother-in-law down there in St. Pete. They might be watching tonight, sitting around, but they probably have better things to do. Not that this isn't a great game. But when you're going to go to on vacation and you're trying to get away from dad, right? <laughs> Which they aren't trying to do. But everybody's getting a kick out of the fact that uh, they abandoned me on my birthday to go down to Florida. I, I think it's perfectly all right. Well, you got a friend in me, Vic. Thank you. I'm not singing the song. I have now hit uh, what I call Route 66. <laughs> I'm going to try to make the best of this road I'm on. Well, this $35 price tag could prompt a pretty big hand in the very near near future as I see at least five players seeing the flop. And really, I don't know if anyone's going away right now. Oh, there's one. Oh, Levine? Oh, we got a four bet. Take that back, Buddha. He's trying to be the party pooper. <laughs> Mixing it up here, making it 130. I like it. I like it. And I don't think anyone's put him on Queen Jack right now. Keith doesn't like it, but Enright thinking about it. He needs 95 to call. He'd love to be a spoiler here with the 2-3 of hearts. You see Bob folded. Well, I, I think if Keith would have called, it might have been a snap call from, from Enright no, because of the size of the pot. But either way, he's coming in. He doesn't want to miss this opportunity to be up against Buddha and Sacco. 
He's first to act, and here comes the flop. Yeah, three players going to the flop and a king ace ten board. And there is the power of the Buddha. Power of the Buddha. Flopping Broadway and then Sako flopping two pair. Big hand alert, folks. This is going to get messy. As they like to say, geez, Louise. Louise. Holy mackerel. Treasure Island. Checking in. Seven fifty six in the middle. And now that could be a action card right there as the flush draw comes into play. Both players might not want to slow play their hands. Wow. A bet of three hundred, a snap all in by Sacco and a snap call by Buddha. Yeah. Sacco, two outs here. The computer knows that two of those uh Four outs. 2100 are already in the, in the muck. So here comes. And it's a blank Buddha. Blank. Is now going to go up to 2100. And given the night that he's had, I believe that, Dom, I believe that's only putting him at about even. I'd be surprised if he's uh, in the green right now. And uh, just a huge hand, huge pot here for Buddha. We also have uh, North Carolina, or was that South Carolina in the house? I think Sacco played South that Carolina. a little fast on that one, Vic. If you look at the speed, the decision making. Yeah. If you really would have took, I don't know if he if he would have took a little bit more time if he would have made that move with the all in. I mean, Buddha would. You know, he four bet at pre flop. You get an ace king ten board. You flop bottom two pair, and he's also leading out, you know, after the flop. So what are you really beating with bottom two pair? And I'm not saying play tight and fold it, but I don't know if you would have had to put them all in because you're only getting called if you're beat pretty much. The best case scenario is he has ace queen there. Well, the, the snap action here from Sacco, I think, is the point uh, to me because we saw this in that big hand against Levine as well. Yeah. Levine went all in with the with the full house, and Sacco didn't even think about it. Yeah, I don't think he's doing it with, with the board, With the pair on the board, he just kind of just snap called. Yeah, I think the only hand that you can a actually ask for, for Buddha to do the same thing as ace queen there. Yeah. And he's not doing it with ace jack. Even though it's only barely a difference, but from watching him play a decent amount, I know that. So at that at that situation, if you got King Ten, it's, it's looking just the way it happened. Yes. Flop and on the flop. So we've got a dealer change top of the hour, which means one thing: we've got a bomb pot. We are back to ten-handed, so this is going to be a single board bomb pot. Everybody in for ten bucks. Hundred dollars in the pot. Everybody's going to get four cards. And uh, Fast Eddie in the box dealing the cards out. As soon as everybody gets four cards, he's going to burn. There it is. And then he's going to put out the flop. And now the action will begin. Yeah, queen six four. Kid is, of the kid is under the gun. I like saying that. I like that we have, you know, an alias is the kid. <laughs> it's growing on me. I do too. And not seeing too much, too much to light our pants on fire here. So they're going to check it around, and another four comes. Well, the kid and has yeah. a four. He's going to be playing king four currently. And I'm trying to make sure we didn't miss anything, Vic, like a set on the flop, you know, with this many well, hands. But right now, Anthony's got queen four. He's got two pair. No, yeah, so, you know, he's got a full house. He's got a full house. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's got Ant a full Banks house. He has this on lock right now pretty got much because all the kings are in play. As Sacco has two of them in his hand. One was in the muck. So the kid is actually drawing dead. Boy, tough spot here yeah, for the, the only, kid to be in. He makes this call. The only player with any hope is Enright if he hits a queen or a six. Yeah. 
And he gets out of harm's way. Nice fold. So we're heads up. Eddie in the box. Getting the pot right. And here comes the river. Oh, it's a 10. The kid hits a full house now. Oh. And he is just getting a run bad, Vic. He really is. Hits the one card he doesn't want to hit. Either a 10 or a deuce. I was just about to say that. No 10, no deuce for the payoff. And he's playing good poker, folks. He is running extremely, extremely bad. Turning an ace high flush, getting called with three of a kind. The river pairing the board where he loses to a full house. Having his ace cracked by 6-3. I mean, these are just a few of the hands we've seen. And now this, the ultimate payoff card. And I don't know what's taking so long to call. Oh, he had more behind. I'm sorry. Yeah. I take that back. I would absolutely take my time then to disguise yeah. the strength of your hand. Yep. I thought the kid was all in. I did not see those chips. That makes perfect sense, especially for Ant Bakes. You don't just want to snap it in there. Got to take your, take your time. Do the same thing you do with every single hand. And I don't know how you fold this. He's probably thinking either queens or sixes. I do like the fact that he's taking his time, though. You got to think this through. And I like the mumbling to himself. Sometimes you just have to verbalize this out loud rather than just keep it internal. That's how I am. But you and I, you know, and I think most people here on the stream watching don't want him to make this call because it's just uh, so tough, a tough run here for him. But does he have it in him to get away from this? Only a year and a half playing this game. He is a young guy. He's trying to figure it out. It's 1,100 in the middle right now, too, makes it rough. It's common to be the youngest guy at the table and, and realize that people are just maybe making certain bets to come after you, to put pressure on you because you're young. Well, you understand, you understand why. I mean, you're stuck in the game. You hit a full house on the river. I think with the situation in your mindset when you're trying to win some of your money back, you, you have to lead out with that. Yeah, Chris, good point. This kid's not going to want to see a PLO hand for a while. And I don't blame him for taking this time. And he makes the call. Music to Anthony's ears. He's going to profit 776 here. It's going to take him uh, up over 2,000. And just tough, tough night. He started out so well. No nit By Thursday. Way, this nice is our amp. chip count here for Ant Banks. Yep. Yep. Right at around fourteen thousand dollars here on the table tonight. Started out five five or um, five hundred dollar buy in one three no limit hold'em cash game. And that'll be it for uh, Dalton, a.k.a. the kid. His first time on the live stream. It was a tough one. Not much more you can say about that. I was about to say, it wasn't for a lack of skill, though. Pretty Some big cooler situations and also him getting his money in good and getting sucked out on. We all have those nights. He'll be back, I'm sure. And I'm sure we got one of uh, Levine's college uh, friends giving him a shout out. That does sound like a frat. 
Pretty sure of it? Sure. Good old college days. I remember going up to my brother's college at Northwood. Going to a few of those parties. <laughs> Oof. So now we're back to the uh, No Limit Hold'em Cash game action. We've got a $10 button straddle. Sacco is going to move into uh, seat eight. And he's going to button straddle. And right, making the call with the 10 9. Now a raise from MGM Bob with Ace Queen. And he's going to make it 60 to go. And Enright's going to make the call. So does Levine. So we're going to go three-handed to the flop. We got a 6-6 six, oh. six jack board. Look at that. Levine with three of a kind. Speaking of Levine, just when one of his fraternity brothers comes on. Yeah. I don't blame him for leading out. He's shown a few bluffs tonight. So he's been. it's not crazy that he might get called light here with ace high. I could definitely see MG and Bob floating one. Check of the dark. And After now, call. great Ooh. card for Levine. MGM Bob now turns the best two pair possible. And Levine then boats oh. on the river. My goodness. Yeah, there's the ultimate payoff card, and he's going to get 150 out of it. That's a cha-ching, cha-ching. Someone just hit the quarter slot machine. What a great sequence for Levine. Yeah. Your opponent floats a big ace. He turns a queen for two pair. You also boat up. You don't have to worry about the flush draw. Just a beautiful situation. I think we got a seat change, by the way. Sako. Yep, Sako has moved over, over to uh, seat eight. I'm honestly shocked by that move. He hasn't been completely card dead, but when you got the chip leader right in front of you, when you can act right behind him, that's usually where I want to be, Vic. What about you? I, I know. Uh, I don't know. If I can react to the chip leader, be the first one, you can also dictate the action. If he raises, you can re-raise if you want to try to isolate. Yeah. Here comes a raise from Mr. Enright. Just one suck out after another. And MGM Bob lying in the weeds with big slick suited. How about nine ten offsuit? And here's a situation where the nemesis has gotten some players in trouble tonight. Buddhist felt the sting earlier on from it, but he's wised it up and played some great poker, not playing that hand anymore. Like he like I know him to do. <laughs> Always respect Buddha's game, except when he tries to play that hand. Why are you talking about that Corey like that, man? I'm, you know, I'm bored when I play worse, you know. It's and he's going to take it down preflop. So that seat change uh, reminds me of a quote, and I, I may not get it right, but... Uh, the, the, the uh, premise is from uh, Henry Ford said that if you wanted to increase production in uh, the, in the plant is uh, you would turn up the lights and then you'd get an increase in production. And then if you wanted to some weeks or months later increase production again, you'd turn down the lights a little bit. 
something about just making a change in in a in an, in your environment can prompt you to do things a little bit differently and change things up. You can look it up if you want, but I I uh, I've worked for people in manufacturing that had similar thoughts about just just mix things up a little bit, take the grind out of the routine, and you're going to get the synapses in the in the brain firing all of a sudden. Right. And uh, in Henry Ford's mind, that meant more production. Back to poker. <laughs> I thought that was a segue on like what you were thinking MGM was doing, how he was playing that ace. No, game. I meant because Sacco moved his seat, oh, and you no, were saying that he really couldn't figure out why. But now, really, just a change, just a change in the environment. What? I like that you're showing that you have his things back. up. You What's have up? Sacco's back on that move. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. I've I've only known Sacco here for about four or five weeks. And oh, wow. I'm already a big fan. Oh. Did you hear how deep the birthday boy just got defending your seat change? <laughs> I, I hope you rewatch this and you realize <laughs> that you got a lifelong friend uh, right sitting right next to me, buddy. Oh, look at this. My goodness, 574 in the pot. Heads up. These two guys are going to go at it again. Yeah, and for the record, Henry Ford could not make me go away from being right behind the, the chip leader. <laughs> we, got, we, got, we have 498 with a couple of hearts. Both players with an ace high. And MGM Bob's going to check, and Levine, 200, takes it down. All right, let, let me make a, a different analogy, which I think is, is, is a good one to talk about anyway. I'm ready for it. Is the uh, Dead Poet Society. Oh, wow. And, you know, when he first goes into the classroom, he has his uh, students stand up on the desk because he wants them to look at the, their surroundings in just a different perspective. Okay. So stand up on the desk, look around, suddenly the room looks differently. And he's challenging his students to mix things up a little bit in their lives, not always have the same tunnel vision. Yes. And um, I, I really think that that's a, a good adage to go by here in just in, in life. But in poker, if you are running dry, let's say, or you just can't get anything going, yeah, um, you have to find ways in your game exactly. to mix things up. You have to have a different perspective. You well, certainly you have to give neg right negative uh, thoughts out of your mind. That's the first. Agreed. Thing. You have to, like Buddha, you know how the power of the Buddha. The power of the Buddha. Buddha does a great job of staying positive, staying upbeat. Gets bad beats all the time. Gets stuck in hands from time to time, and it doesn't seem to affect him. Uh, no. From a mental perspective. I agree with there. And to me, that is a big part of this game. And that's why you see uh, professional players, players that uh, put their heart and soul into this game, they will tell you, you cannot be someone that goes on tilt. You've no. got to be able to take that... Uh, you got to be able to take the etch a sketch and turn it upside down and shake it and erase and I think get a fresh perspective. I'm right there with you. Everything's yeah. contagious, and if you start getting frustrated with your bad beats, you will will more bad beats your way. I think you also call off a lot more chips knowing your beat when you just expect it. Get married the hands when you don't need to get married to them. And it looks like we also, by the way, Vic, have a $10 button straddle for Mayhem. MGM Bob coming along with the suited Queen 4. And MGM Bob still does have that yellow no net oh. chip in front of him because he Bad. had the opportunity to get rid of it but didn't Keith. show his hand. Keith raises it up to 35, a little spritzer with the 8-7 offsuit. <coughs> yep, here's the nemesis, King Jack. Which, by the way, though, is in great shape right now heading to the flop. It's live. It's not sharing any cards. Look at Mayhem, though. He just needed 25 to complete with the button straddle, and he does, and he's in good position if he can hit this flop with the 5-4. I agree. And we have a Jack-6-7 action board here as the Nemesis hits top pair. We have an open-ended straight, straight draw for Mayhem. Bad beat Keith, the initial Razor, got a piece of it with a 7. He's going to lead out. And Mayhem, open-ended. Yeah, can you imagine if an 8 comes? Oof. 
Because he's, he's got a gun or two. Probably not Ace Jack. Could have Ace 10. Probably don't raise pre with Ace 10. But Ace 10 still beats him. Oh, huh? Hey, I'm gets rid of it. Well, I don't. I mean, you see the action right there. Nice raise. Nice raise. Got him out. Never in my life. Like bad beat Keith life, lets it go. It was it's not going to try to put a bad beat I was running good, so. on the gentleman with a better hand. Plus, I know that I play in a poker with you. That if you win, I'll get it. You know, I'll have a you don't, the thing is, you don't mind losing to me. That's, right. that's the problem. Right. That's, that's the real problem. Anthony coming to us from uh, Detroit. He's been playing this game for 20 years and wants to shout out to uh, his Sunday poker crew. Third call, you're just capped there, like at a small pair or like king queen. Like a half fifty percent. Would you watch the other stream the other night? I'm limping with aces, and then James. you're you're limping with aces, but you're not over limping with aces. It's a very big difference. All right, you're, I stand corrected. You know all about poker. I don't know about all about it, but I had some reasoning there. I thought your hand was capped. Hey, who's stacking the chips? You. So oh, yeah, I'm not going to argue saying. with your results. Right. <laughs> Classic Levine. Oh, no. Yeah. Who to talk? <laughs> and if it keeps going, I'm going to just. Well, Buddha's always looking for an opportunity where he can mentor the young man. Is that what you call it? Yes. That's what I'm going to. Uh, Politically correctly call that. I was just thinking the same <laughs> term. <laughs> well, not if the jack is on the term. <laughs> Our third smallest <laughs> pot of the night, prior uh, pre-flop, thirty-four dollars. This could build up though after this flop. And I don't think we're going to get that too much here on a four king five board. MGM Bob with bottom pair. And then also a flush draw though for Sako. Ace high for Ant Banks. He's been playing some good so poker tonight. Like, so He's, I like his patience at the table. Yeah. And he doesn't really call off any chips. He'll make stabs at it. Don't get me wrong. He doesn't play tight, but he does get married to a hand. And now two pair for MGM Bob. Take that back. This could be a big hand alert, Vic, as we got two pair versus a flush draw with a gut shot straight draw now for Sako. So he picks up a few another draw. And you know how these two like to mix it up. Oh, no clucking yet? Not yet. I mean, this really isn't a 130. No, it's a two pair. Especially with the 1K count now, I'm pretty sure that I'm game 2 5. Oh, and there's the 6. Not only hits the straight, but he hits the flush too. A double whammy against MGM. I will say this, out of all the hearts, though, that's the worst heart for Sako the hit. Yeah, that's an action killer right there. Four cards straight out there. The flush is out there. I don't think MGM is going to bite on this unless he goes really low. And this is screaming value town. And, yeah, look at that. Instant fold from MGM Bob. He's basically saying silly rabbit tricks are for kids, the old cereal commercial. <laughs> I was, I was in there really late. I was in there really late. Doing all I called for you. Um, six, five, and I bought one What you call him for? I made his twenty dollars. Just fold and get out. You try to save that fifty dollar bullshit I've never seen it. I love it when we're nine-handed and we get five conversations going on at the same time. I this game is great. <laughs> when I don't have, when we don't have to say anything in between hands, that's when I love the table the most. Yeah. Is it good because he caught for it? That's a great river pool. He 
They're deciding to put 40 in and run it down. They're going to show their cards. Yeah, instead of just you know seven six versus ace three, rather than uh, be a chop blocker or hold up the game, yeah, get it done quickly. Get it done. Get it over with. Oh wow! Hey, open ender. <laughs> yeah, Bob's changing his mind. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Bob does have six outs here, and that's not one of them. Levine with the two pair takes the pot down. Nice hand. Really? And again, thank you to everybody for joining us tonight. Ask you once again to uh, hit that like button if you haven't done so. The next live stream will be this Saturday. That'll be a four-hour live stream. 1-3, no limit hold'em, regular Joe Poker Show, $500 buy-in. And then Tuesday, right back to our 5-5-10. And, boy, we see a big game the last couple of Tuesdays. But then next Thursday, our $100,000 prize pool guaranteed tournament begins, so we will not be back here on the cash live stream, but there's a good chance we'll be live streaming a feature table for day 1B. I got two fucking pair, idiot. I know you, but are we going to be disagreeing? And here we go, a limp pot with the straddle, and we've got seven handed to this flop. Four, three, jack, couple of hearts. And look at that flop for MGM. Flops the flush draw, also a gut shot straight draw. You have top pair from Mayhem. Shake it off, Bob. Shake it off. Raise something. Well, the board said that uh, Bob will go on tilt, and now they are getting Bob on tilt, so he raises to 50. See, see, the problem is I'm going to crack his ass again. Here we go. Here's a prediction from uh, Sako that he's going to crack MGM Bob. Thanks for the ride, Bob. Buddha pocket fives gets out of the way, and Mayhem makes the call. So we're going to go three-handed to the turn. MGM Bob and Mayhem and uh, Sako may not even know that Mayhem is still in the hand. In disguise? Well, just because they're jawing at each other so much, right? Ace of diamonds on the turn. Really, just a scare card for everybody. And now the king, Mayhem, through all that commotion, holds. It looks like Sako is getting his bluffing shoes on. 225. Wow, that's the pot. Let me see. Can I see? He showed. He showed. He showed. Yep. Show one. Show I all. Show mine. Show one. Show all. Donkey. Got you. Third Street Cigar in the house. How you like that one? Well, who hope we got? Yeah. Hope you guys are doing like well. Who from Third Street's in here? Oh, Jeremy Sparks. Oh, Jeremy. Yes, Jeremy. It's been a while, buddy. Hope you're doing well over at Third Street. <laughs> And to everyone at Third Street Cigar, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you, gentlemen. Buddha had a big hit, or Evan Young Bob had a big hit. Swing it with the best hand, Sako. Shout out to Scott, too. Has a big radio show going on tomorrow. Congratulations, by the way. Thank you, Bob. Saw that on Instagram. <laughs> I think I'm kidding. You think I I'm kidding? You think I'm kidding? I actually can't Please. tell. Please. Enough know. is enough, man. You're a fucking retard. Oh, you wow. are. He's pulling against the guy he rides with, oh, and he's just oh. trying to fuck me all night. I'm not. Oh, I'm playing you're not. I'm, I'm playing my hand. You're not. Oh. I'm playing my hand. I'm not drinking you home. Oh, it's it's way over here, bro. Can I get a I'm sorry. I'll, I'll <laughs> sit over. It's... 
Yeah, penalty, penalty. penalty. You're crazy. I'm serious, man. You're crazy, man. I'm not doing it to you. I'm playing my head. You crazy? Ah. Uh, and Levine's going to take it down pre flop with 9 7, raising it up there. 3 9 was dominant. Yeah. Alright, here we go, guys. B pin. Sackles at 54. Mayhem, 49. Is that me? MGM, 49. Dan the Man. Doc, aka Doc in the house. Who? Bad B at 35. Hope all's well, Doc. Hopefully you're enjoying some brown water and a nice cigar. Playing a little poker, I'm assuming. Love hearing it, buddy. I floated Bob on the flop with eight out there and got there on the river. Still mad about it. And Doc, I still want to make it out the third streak in. I'm sorry it's been so long. Uh, I, I hate to say it, I almost sound like the stereotypical guy. I got engaged and got wrapped up in some stuff. <laughs> the lady has been, uh, but it's been good stuff though. Not to say. Also working on a new house. That's a fixer upper, so I, I apologize on that. But you guys are a class act over at Third Street Cigar and treat people with great respect. And I, I still will say this. If any of you guys are looking for a, a, a prime spot to no, relax, unwind, and have uh, good company, go check out Third Street Cigar. Let's go. Hour, hour from Jim Bob. Just a great, great establishment, great people, great atmosphere. There's so many haters. Prove them wrong. They just told everybody's V-Pip. Bob was second highest. 42, Bob. 49. Thanks, Doc. We got five players going to the flop now. 178 in the middle. <laughs> and we got a couple of ladies, a couple of queens with a nine. Check. Rainbow board. Check. Two pair for Levine. Has the best of it right now. A couple of gut shots. Oh. The bigger... Gut shot here for Enright with the Nemesis. Tens are pretty cheap right now, though. I yeah, but you don't want it. Oh. oh, Mayhem now with a diamond draw. Oh, boy. And a check, a free card. And there it is, the Nemesis. It hits. It hits. Three pair now for Levine, which is never normally good when you're in a multi-way pot and poker, especially Texas Hold'em. Oh, boy, what a great Milk bet. Milk the cow. What a great bet. Milk the cow. Oh, man. He's going for the whole milk right there, not 2%. Vitamin D, the red cap. Hate three pair. <coughs> oh, Bob. Oh. Straight. King Jack. King Jack. Yeah, I think that Levine pretty much knew yeah. he was beat there. But, like I said, milking the cow, it's hard to get away from that size of a pot for just 100, especially when you have over 2,000 in front of you. <coughs> Mr. Enright bringing in a nice pot there. Get max value. Yeah, Levine, still, even after that, up to 2,900. And he has not rebought. He's in the game for 500. Corey over 2,000. Ant Banks over 2,000. Buddha over 2,000. Enright up to 16. Sako up to 11. This is just a huge game. 
And is not going to stop. Bad beat ju Keith just set at the table. He's around even. I believe he came into the game around yeah, seven, eight hundred. So yeah, I, I mean, think he came in with five hundred. I believe. So he is up a little bit. Speaking of bad beat, Keith, he's going to raise this up now, make it 40 to go. Ace three. Sacco lets go of ace five. Yeah. Mr. Enright well, he's just already needs 30 time. to complete after taking down a really nice pot. So it looks like he's going to call here with 9-8 offsuit. Yeah. In this game, really, $40 is almost like making it 10 in a 1-2 game. Mayhem coming in with a couple of diamonds. 10-7. Yeah, three-handed now. 133 in the middle. And we got a king-queen six board. And right now, ace high still good. Continuation bet. Yep, 80. That's a nice bet sizing right there in a 133 pot. I yeah, like that. If I gonna, do too. If you're going to do it, you might as well throw in an extra $20, $30. We've seen some players earlier on bet a little bit too small on their C bets and They've even had the best hand, but it's invited weaker hands to catch up. I like that bet sizing right there. $80 in a $133 pot. Take it down. Eddie, you want to bring me another box? Hey, Peach, thanks for tuning in. Always appreciate you. Yeah, have a good night, Peach. Dealer change now. We've got uh, Paul, affectionately at times, referred to as Poison Arm Paul. And Buddha's putting on the uh, $10 button straddle. We are going till 11:15 uh, here tonight. And if you were going to ask me if this game is going to continue on after 11:15, I would say, based on my experience with uh, these players, the chances are low because we've got um, about five, six players that have driven over an hour. We've got two players that drove four hours to get here. So it's it's possible. So I'm just addressing that now before somebody asks me. But you never know. Sometimes this game goes till two, three, four o'clock in the morning, and here we go. Look at this. King, nine, Jack, all diamonds. Enright with the ace of diamonds. Yeah, also Anthony MGM. hits a set of kings. And then MGM also mid pair with a straight flush draw. This is a big hand alert, folks. Especially the way this game's going. And the way the turn in the river have been going. Uh, Here we go. Over the amp banks with top set. Three players now going to the turn. 438 in the middle. And there's a queen. That's a straight for MGM. Check. Who takes the lead. And with seven, I, I won't be surprised if we see a minimal $300 bet here. Hitting his card. A lot out there, though. Wow. And he's going to have to dodge a diamond or a paired board. And there it is. Enright. Get in there on the river with the ace high flush. Check. And that's a great money card for him. MGM. With the third nuts. And he min clicks it up to 400. You win, Bob. 
the board on the river. Just tear the board. You got it set? I turned it straight. Wow, big hand there, 1K in the middle, going over the bob, and like I said, the way the turn in the river, we had three different leaders in that hand, set on the flop, straight on the turn, ace high flush on the river, all three players had a chance to repop that, and they didn't, and the worst hand ended up winning. Checked around on the turn. I'm not sure if Bob was really going anywhere, though. You never know. He's got a lot of chips in front of him. Alright, 10 under the gun. 10 under the gun. What'd you have with your ace, sir? Yeah, I don't know. What'd you have with your ace? Did you show what you have with your ace? I, I didn't show the second card. Oh, okay. You'll see it on the screen. Bro. And right now with 5-4, feeling it right now, up to 2,100. Another great showing from Bob Enright. You saw him have a, a big live stream last week, and he is following up with another doozy. And we have a 7-6 jack board, a couple of diamonds. Open end straight draw for Enright. He's going to... Splash in 20. Bad beat Keith now looking at the ducks, the mighty duck sand. Pocket deuces. And he makes the call to keep him honest. And there's a four. Check. And then he takes check. the lead. Check. And another four. And that check on the turn 65. is... Get bad beat Keith to lead out now. And the run good for Enright continues. He might bump this up to like 200 straight. again and defense wins championships bad beat Keith gets out of the way yeah good fold so I just made a run real quick out to the main room with our satellite tonight and uh, we are down to uh, three tables there will be eight players tonight receiving a voucher worth $240 in our $100,000 prize pool guarantee beginning on March 21st. That's a week from today. And um, go to the reservepoker.com. We did show the graphic earlier. We probably will show it again before we sign off tonight. But just a fantastic format whereby you make it 10% uh, of each day one players get into day two. And then in day two, $500 bounty for every person you take out. Again, that's a $240 buy-in starting a week from today. So a raise from Buddha with Ace Tuss, and he's going to get uh, three players to make the call. MGM Bob now, 10-7 of diamonds, and he hits a 7. But open-ended here for Bad Beat Keith, and Mayhem gets three sixes here. So he's going to bet it, 35, and MGM Bob. Just you keep seeing the pot just sprinkle up. It's just like beep, 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 beep. Yeah, raising it up to 100. Bad Beat Keith coming along now with the open ender. Do you get the feeling you're just watching that game show from the 80s, No Whammy, No Whammy Stop? <laughs> and then you got to, like, continue. You know, do you want to continue? Yeah. Do you want to go to the turn? Do you want to press your luck? Now the ace of spades on the turn.
turn, and that doesn't do anything for anybody. Doesn't look like a brick to the people at the table, but we know. And basically, that is a brick, and Mayhem's Mayhem going to go it. ahead and bet. Yeah, a lot of times that's a money card, the ace. Yep. But yeah, no dice there for him. No dice that time. Nobody had the ace. But, he's but still a nice pot here yeah. for Mayhem. Profited over $300 on that? Yeah. I'll take that every time. Mayhem now up to 1200 Very nice hand. Chip counts. I think this is the most, uh, on a Thursday, the most high-demand chip counts we've needed, and the Wizards has been keeping up with it. Just <laughs> he definitely the has. Chip, I mean, it literally yeah. has been so hard to keep track of how much everyone has in front of them right. with all this action. Corey's been a little quiet lately, so he's going to raise this up under the gun, mixing Sacco. it up. Twenty-five total. Yeah, Sacco is going to make the call, and Enright's not going to sit on oh. this. He's going to raise and another this? raise. So Ace King, King oh. Queen, Ace King suited, oh. Queen Ten offsuit. Four bet here from Buddha, Ace King of Diamonds. You might see Sock. I mean, you can play this multiple ways. He might four bet this. Well, I'm sorry, five, five bet. bet. Yep. Yeah, five bet. When's the last time we've seen a five bet? I think he bumps up like maybe 400 or is it a smooth call? Call. Smooth call. Invitations there for Enright. He's running pure lately. And right, right now has a little person on his left shoulder saying call and a little person on his right shoulder saying fold. And he's trying to decide which person to listen to. Yeah, he makes the right fold there. And he he's goes with the fold. Outs. He looked like he wanted to be in I that mean, hand. The way he's hitting flops, but yeah, that was a good uh, fold because right now it's just a jack 8-7 board. So that would be no help to him. Both players with ace-king. Advantage goes to the pre-flop aggressor. But... He checks, and now both players hit a king on the turn. Wow. Can you imagine if Enright would have even said yes. the case king? The case king comes, comes in. Comes out there. My goodness. Pretty much bet spot. And now an all-in from Sacco. 900. About 600 more and change to Buddha. 734. I I'm going to have to give you some money back. I call. Cool. And we got a call. <laughs> and yep, chop, choppy, choppy. 2,200 in the middle. Let's go back to the players on each. Basically hit. You're an asshole. What, 20 bucks? I knew it would have been. No possible pie. You're going to lay down, Bob. King Queen. And Bob. Patting himself on the back there. Hey, when you're running good, you're running good. And yep. that's to include another run good and a good fold. It says good fold. We're not quite there yet, but we're coming up uh, close to the power hour. We're going to 11.15 here tonight, Saturday night, four-hour live stream. That's a 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game. This so far confirmed from the Wizard and Dom's memory of our live streams. Certainly the biggest 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game uh, we've had. The action has just been fantastic here. And this game is playing much bigger than a 1-3 game. Bad beat. Keith going to limp in here with pocket eights after a button straddle of 10. Corey's going to raise it up to 55. Buddha getting out of the way with the Dolly Parton. Nine to five there are now mayhem. Playing a really solid game here tonight. 
traveling four hours to join us here tonight. And Levine's going to come in with ace five. Now back over to bad beat Keith. Is he going to do a uh, three bet here? And will it be a big one because he is reaching? There it is. And he puts a big bet out there. 210. 210 is the bet. He's trying to take this down now. Corey, who's been a little quiet as of late, he's had a really good night so far, though. Really respect how he had some adversity early on. He's come back with a vengeance. Over a thousand in profit now. Mayhem now with King oh, Ten. <laughs> yeah, Chris, this has been a big game here tonight. And he is going to make the call. We're going to go heads up now. 5.30 in the middle over a starting stack before we see any cards. King 10 versus 8s, and we have a 7-5 deuce board. Great flop here for 8s. Uh, Bad B. Keith goes all in. For all in, and a quick fold there from Mayhem. Shows 8s. And now Bad Beat Keith. Approaching $1,000 in front of him. There you go, Bad Beat. Came into the game a little late after playing in the satellite in the main room tonight. Things didn't go his way, so he thought he'd give it a try here in our 1-3 No Limit Hold'em cash game. And so far, it's been a pretty good decision for him. Tomorrow morning at 10.15, we've got a tournament, our Friday morning tournament. That's a $65 buy-in that's becoming very popular, followed yes. by our Friday night free roll. And I think we got a straddle and a restraddle. We do see if uh, Buddha checks his option here with the Doyle, and he does. So a few interesting uh, starting hands here, and here comes the flop. Six do I'm sorry, six ace four rainbow board, and a whole lot of nothing. As you can see by the standings, the percentages, it's anyone's hand. Everyone's live. And <laughs> now, now the 10 high is really coming to play. Sako, though, with the semi-bluff here, he does have a gut shot straight draw. He's going to play pretend. And I think this is going to work. Takes it down. Nice hand. Anytime you can win with 8 high, that is a victory, my friends. Ten dollar straddle from Buddha. How about a quick twelve likes here? We're at seventy eight. You could just get us to hundred. With a snap of a finger, if you haven't hit yeah, the like button, smash please that do like that. Button. I know Appreciate you can get it. us there. Yeah, if you're just tuning in, smash that like. It helps us get the word out there on YouTube and the algorithm. Get some new viewers. It's pretty much our lifeblood of the live stream. We always appreciate you guys. Also, hit that subscribe button if it's your first time or you're a newer viewer. Pocket 8's now this time with Mayhem. He raises it up to 50, but nobody's really got anything. No, that one... That was a dud. That was a dud, yeah, unfortunately, for uh, Mayhem with a nice starting hand and a pre-flop raise, but he takes the pot down anyways. Yeah, he's playing some good poker first time on the live stream. $14 being raked his way. I said, enjoy, really enjoyed getting to know him before here. Talk about fishing. Always love a gentleman that has that passion. And Holly a $10 button straddle. Hollywood in the house, and he says the weather down there is great, particularly for a Yankees versus Tigers game. Oh, man. 
I'm a little jelly there. Absolutely. I'm really excited about Tiger baseball this year. Got a really young squad, but a lot of young talent. Curious to see how uh, Parker Meadows does. He'll be that fourth big piece. They're big three youngs with Carpenter, Torkelson, and Riley Green. Here comes a raise. Levine, King Ten of Hearts. And I have noticed on the past live streams, I think that's one of Levine's favorite hands. King Ten of Hearts. Or King, King Ten suited. King Ten suited. King yeah. ten. I, it seems like every time he gets King Ten suited, he loves playing it. And he enjoys raising with it. Sacco needs 55 here to complete with a $10 button straddle. 10-9, and he does. And right. Also needs 55. He's got a couple of diamonds. Bob might view himself as being priced in here unless he wants to try to make a move and go over the top, but he's going to fold it. And we're going to go three-handed here to the flop. We got three players now going to the flop on a wow, what a flop here. We got a <laughs> seven nine eight flop. Oh. Top pair open ended for Sacco. Yep. Open ended straight draw for Levine. Yep. And an open ended straight draw with the flush draw for Mr. Enright. Wow. Call your friends, call your neighbors, call your cousins. It gets checked around to Sacco now. Any everyone. Two oh eight in the pot, and here comes a bet. Everyone is just ready for this one. They're, they're going fishing for a big one. 155 is the bet. That get that gets Enright's attention. He loves playing big hands. And here he comes. Levine not going anywhere. Yeah, everyone's got a great piece of that flop. Huge and now draws 670 in the pot. And now the queen comes into play, which is a big card, because now Levine, if he hits his straight, will have a higher straight than Sacco. And Enright hits a queen here with his queen six, his open-ended, and his flush draw. This pot is just building and building 375 here from Sacco. I just feel a jack coming for some weird reason. And if Levine hits a jack that's not a diamond, he's going to get paid off from Sacco. But he gets out of the way, so we're heads up going to the river. Yep. 1,400 in the pot. And there's a nine of hearts and Sacco with the check mark. It's three of a kind. Wow. I couldn't even get my shoulder check. I would love if he bets this big, make it look like a misdraw, or at least attempt to. I'm not sure if I'm, if uh, Enright's going to bite on that, but at least put the pressure on him. We got 500 left. There's 1400 in the pot. If he shoves here, really putting it to the test. All in, great play. Basically, the ladder. No, The ladder's about that wide. So it's barely enough to get your feet on. Bob Enright asking for a count. Yeah, because the, the diamonds missed. The straight draw missed. You, you, this Five. is a tough spot yep. for Bob. 524 in the pot. I only got a 12-foot ladder, 10-foot ladder in there. 10-foot ladder hits the bottom. He's going to get almost 5-1 to one on his money. We had to explain to the whole, the whole watch is like, why do you have to wear that big harness if you're just going inside of that? So they can pull you out. So they can retrieve your body. Yeah. She's like, what? Well, it's strictly for body retrieval. That's what it's for. Well, they do all kinds of purge. I mean, that thing is, if they check the air quality and it's unsafe, you're not allowed to go in. They fume it. And, and he makes the call. Good bet by Sacco. He's going to get paid off here. Uh, are you kidding me? That fucking river? Uh, you're a fucking lucky fuck boy. 
And right, not too happy with that one. No. $2,500 pot going Sako's way. But uh, swing of the game. It's a swingy game. And Sako now, 2500 in front of him. But he had a lot of outs. Open end, straight draw, top pair. He actually had the best hand on the flop. We've seen some emotion tonight so from the players. There, it's a competitive game, a yeah. game of emotion. It's very, yeah, these, uh, these are competitors here. And we're playing the biggest 1-3 game we've probably ever seen on a Thursday night. With the amount of money on the table, there's probably around 14 grand on there, I would say. So, and like I said, we're five minutes away from your favorite time of the night, too, Vic. So it's only going to get amped up even more. Bob, you're right. I can't even beat up on the river all the time. I got to get lucky once in a while. And the wizard, uh, we're getting a request here for another show of the V pip when you get a chance. Nothing urgent. Anthony now Motor quietly building up a stack here, and now he hits ace queen. And there's the uh, v, -pip. v pip of note at the top is Sako, Mayhem, and MGM Bob down at the bottom there. Anthony just talking about his chip stack, but really very respectable when you're in the high 20s. Yeah, everyone's pretty much playing at least 30% of the flops, if not more. Shout out to Motor City for tuning in. And there hasn't been any clucking yet, Motor City, but there's been a lot of smack talk at the table, a lot of emotion being shown, some frustration, some laughs. It's been a mixed bag. Entertaining poker game, and players are going big tonight. And honestly, I love to see it. These players care. They're competitive and won't want it any other way. And we have a three king six board here, all clubs. And an ace for Mr. Banks. Dave, I think some players are a little salty right now. Like I said, it's been a competitive game. Game faces are on. But Buddha's still smiling. <laughs> Buddha, always with a smile on his face. <laughs> he loves it. 35 total. He has a front row ticket right now, playing at the game. Life is good. Looks like we are going to get a bump in the action. Pocket sevens from Enright. Buddha here with sixes. Heaven forbid a six hits. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Before I see this, Sako also with king queen. Could be a some fireworks. Aces. Yep. Could be some fireworks here in our future. Javier, I'm not sure you know what every single person is in for, but I'll say there's 14,000 in the pot. We've had one player go bust. Multi-players have added on. It, there, there's been so much action. We, we can say that uh, for, for certain that um, Enright is in the plus, even though he just uh, took a hit there. Anthony is doing really well. Uh, Levine, Levine's having the best night Levine so is doing really well. Buddha, I believe, is still down. Oh, wow, and there's oh, a six. Oh, my goodness. Six, five, seven. Two players hitting top pair. Oh, wow. Buddha 
with mid set. Look at he's still kind of got a smirk on. Enright's going to le lead out though. He was the initial raiser with the continuation bet. Buddha's going to raise it up to 500 now. And he shows the sixes, as he has to if he wants to get rid of his yellow no-knit chip, because with all this money going around, there is still that game going on, our side game of oh. uh, last person standing. I think Buddha just said there's enough money in there. Yeah, he, he profited $651, yeah. 500 Yeah. Don't need to justify yourself, Buddha. Ooh, are we doing a double board, guys? We got nine. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Nikki asking a very good question since we're nine handed. If these gentlemen want to go uh, double board bomb pot, and what a way to start out the power hour. One hour left to go on our live stream, and Dom and I. Time and time again, with the one hour left to go, we see these players. The ranges open up. The bet sizing increases. Players that are stuck, and there's a few of them here tonight, looking to try to make a comeback in a short amount of time. Oh. So don't go anywhere. There's a lot of poker action yet to go in this last hour. You can win a lot and you can lose a lot in a short period of time in this game. And uh, speaking of which, no, there's no better place to win a lot or lose a lot than sure. in a bomb pot. Particularly double board bomb pot. Everybody in for $10. There's $90 in the pot. There's the burn and the flop. And then no additional burn, just another flop coming out. And now the betting begins, just like PLO. I heard a pot already. I heard a pot already. And I believe that was coming from Sacco. What, 90 to go? around the table. Paul, thanks for explaining that to us, buddy. Just a temporary issue with the graphics here. Hang with us, folks. Yeah, after this bomb pot, the graphics will get back on track. We got Poison Paul in the back helping us out. He's fixing those kinks right now. As soon as this hands over, we'll be right back on track. But we can still watch the action. Old school style. So three players in this one. <laughs> the pot is building up. Check. Back to Sako now. We initially started this. Check. Check to the river. from Sako putting the pressure on. Why do we even play this stupid game? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Buddha. Caught in the fire. Fold. We're gonna fold, and Saka was gonna take that one down. A nice addition. Oh yeah, the the, the form of Bob Pot, the strategy the being talked about. Bad turn. You give these players four cards. Danger. <coughs> Back to two card. The action. It's been a great show tonight. Like Vic just said, we are in the power hour. 10.20 right now, so we got about 55 minutes left for everybody. This is sick in. Even just regular one. So I had open-ended. Raise the 40. Both of them with a gut shot. I like your hand better than Ace's double suited. Oh, yeah. All 40. Fair enough. Raise it up. It's a 40 from Bad Beat Keith with Ace 5. Looks like we have four players now going to the flop. Aces and Kings galore. Oh my. And we have a 6 A7 board. Couple of hearts. Two players hitting top pair. Bad Beat Keith was the initial raiser. He's going to keep firing. Corey right behind him. Has him out kicked. Straight flusher out there. Curious to see what he, how he plays this. Even Smooth call. Don't call. But then I gotta pull me on eight. I might be betting on the bottom board. Oh. It's harder to bomb pot. Somebody's probably got it. Yeah. Especially after I'm betting pot, pot, you know, I have an eight. Ten of hearts on the turn. That is a great card for bad beat, Keith. So he's gonna try to put a bad beat on Corey. Picks up the heart draw. Oh, no, that would have been sick on the river. And now but 150. Nice. Oh, because his fives are nothing. Right. Sixes could beat him. Right. I could easily have oh, a couple of five feels up here. Oh, on the river? On the top board. Oh, yeah. The second nuts. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no a little bit. Yeah, he's calling. Not no, he only needs an eight in the same. Right. 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 Not 300. Bro. Oh. Maybe. And Here, Corey's going to swoop call. The board is so weak. There's nothing on the oh, bottom board. Oh, and the five on the river. I thought you were calling on the bottom board. Like, you know, get a plug. Bad beat. Keith putting out a bad beat on Corey. Now 325. Well, this is sometimes when you just smooth call, though, every street when you have the better hand. Sometimes the players catch up. And that's what happened with Bad Beat Keith right here. Got lucky. Hitting a three outer on the river. Roll reversal. On Omaha, I mean, in Holden, yes. In Omaha, no. Table. Trying to get a read off him. Bad B. Keith giving nothing away. And nice fold from Corey. Shows the ace. Bad B. Keith profits 351 in that hand. Adding to his stack. The power of Bad B. B. Keith. Tongue twister there for me. Bad Beat oh, Keith yeah, compels you. Well, Bad Beat Keith get some good juju and challenge the power of the Buddha. That's the question. Two titans with nicknames in this establishment. 
When folks, we are getting close to 90 likes if you're tuning in. We got one hour left. Help us get to that 100. Always appreciate it. Like I said, if you're not subscribed, please join this poker community. We'd love to have you. We're here every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for cash. When we have our big tournaments, too, we pop up on Sundays and Mondays for our day two, our final days. As I should say, I shouldn't even just say day two, sometimes day threes. $70 now. $70 to go. Levine picking up ace nine of diamonds going around the table. Sacco coming along with the five deuce and right with a six. Three players. 230 in the middle. Ace right in the window, followed with a queen and a five. Action flop here as two players both get two pair. I'm sorry, not two pair, top pair. Take that back. 65. Sokka with the whiff, but I still respect the five deuce. Chips, calls, and a ten of hearts on the turn. Now Enright picking up the nut flush draw with his top pair. Going nowhere. Still has a lead. And right though has plenty of outs. As you can see. Five is not Levine with the check mark. will not be enough I don't think in that pot 650 in the middle but we've seen this he's been value betting low and he's been having it about three hands the last hour and a half and I think Levine has seen that also Levine has every reason here to let this go against Enright, where you can never really put him on a hand. You're almost just calling a bluff. I mean, makes me wonder if Levine would have been more inclined to call if Enright would have gone all in. Yeah. And he makes the call. Makes the call. And Levine. Picks it up. 9.50. Very nice call, Levine. That one was a tough one. Because we've seen Enright pretty much value bet on the river and getting paid a few times so far this live stream. Did the exact same move. And at that point, when you see that type of board, you're almost beating a stone cold bluff. You yeah. know, at the time, Enright did have an ace. Yeah, DFG, um, Caleb wound up with, uh, I believe, a 91% uh, VPIP. Uh, the lowest it dipped on Tuesday night was 89%, but I think he wound up with uh, 91 or 92% to answer your question. Buddha now, 7-5, Banks, 10-9. Sako though, 5-4 suited, likes it. Oh, and MGM waking up Raise with pocket aces. Bold. Bold. Mm -hmm. Corey, King 5 suited. 
Yeah, MRH. He's coming along. That might open the door for Sako now. MRH, I agree with your response there. I think since that's Sako hand, Enright's been, and he's actually uh, talking to himself a little bit right now. I think Sako's put two players on tilt tonight. I mean, good for I mean, if you can get in players' heads, that's part of poker. He hasn't been doing anything outlandish. Maybe a couple of comments that <laughs> make me laugh and smirk, but uh, nothing too crazy. And look at this flop, 8-8-9. Eight, eight, Mayhem flopping two pair. That could get him in trouble against Aces here for MGM Bob. Check. And he makes the call, and he's just got one out here. Heads up. Uh, this is pretty much all in now, no matter what. Yeah, you call 200, he's got 300 back. Uh, pretty standard. You knew it was going to cost you 500 if you made that 200 call. Out of okay, turn. Really just one out here. The nine. Here comes the river from Nikki. Oh, that was close. That was six. a scare card right there. Yeah, the six and nines always look alike. MGM Bob picks wow. up a nice hand there. <laughs> Looks like 764 in the pot. <laughs> Looks like we're going to have a little add on here from Mayhem. Yep, a little add on here. Hey, <laughs> Jim. And now we're just 10 likes away. We would like to get to 100 tonight. It's been one heck of a show. And it's a birthday boy. And for the record, this is our biggest 1-3 game that we've had here on the live stream. And it's Vic's birthday. And Vic, well, all he really wants is 100 likes. That's for all I birthday. want for my birthday. Can I don't we, want anything give else. Vic, yep. 100 likes on the show. <laughs> we are just 10 away. Everyone say happy birthday to Vic. By hitting that thumbs up button and happy <laughs> birthday to Victory Cigar, <laughs> Vic G, in the house, buddy. Thank you very much. Ten dollar button straddle here from uh, Levine. This looks like a uh, yeah, Jim got it. Yeah. He heard you. Call in the dark here from uh, Keith. Makes the call with the uh, six four of diamonds. Now Enright picks up the pocket eights. And he's going to go ahead and go all in. Donovan, I'll uh, tell you all about that yellow chip here in a second as soon as this hand's over. You ask a very good question. And right all in at the eights. Yeah, you don't want that. Not a good position. Nope, all the way through. So Donovan, on our Thursday nights, uh, no knit Thursday, we have what's called a uh, yellow no knit chip, and. Um, this is a last man standing game, last person standing. So uh, the last person standing with the yellow no knit chip, um, you get rid of your yellow no knit chip by winning a hand and showing the win. Then the last person with the yellow no knit chip, basically they have not won a hand in that round. Then they uh, kick in $40, either the top of their stack or out of that pocket tonight. The table voted unanimously then to have that $40 go into the 
into the dealer's uh, tip jar. But it induces the action, particularly when we start getting getting down to, say, three or four players, two players that just have the yellow no niche chip that's going to open up their range a little bit. They're going to try to make a big bet in position just so they can get rid of that and not be the last person standing. And it's a, a feature of what we do here on Thursday nights for our 1-3 $500 buy-in cash game. And now we are three-handed going to the flop. 31 bucks. The <laughs> smallest, again, one of the smallest pots we've seen tonight. We got a seven, five, nine board, couple of spades. Top pair for Sacco. We got a floater. Or not what Bank, Mr. Banks wants there. I've been really impressed with his poker play, though. So this is only the second time on the live stream. I'm mixing it up well. Now I know Vic always likes players that take the same amount of time, whether they're folding, calling, or raising. And I think Mr. Banks on a second time here. Kind of has what Vic always looks for in a poker player. He does. He have that. He has that very consistent cadence. Whether he's raising, whether he's calling, whether he's folding, takes the certain amount of time. And we saw that um, quite a bit Tuesday night from James. James had one heck of a game here Tuesday night on our five five ten no limit hold'em cash game. And I got to talk to him after the game about that. And he said that uh, he learned to play the game uh, from his uncle. His uncle has uh, got a couple million dollars in earnings uh, playing poker, got his nephew into the game, and stressed that as part of his uh, early poker education about trying to remain consistent. Ooh. And he saw that as a value, but it's something I like to uh, point out from time to time when we see that from players. All in for Menright with Ace-5, and Mr. Banks is licking his chops right now. And he might try to isolate. I, 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 I wouldn't mind if he just doubled this up, maybe made it, you know, 325, 350, whatever it has to be. Make it a little bit harder for other players to come along. Raise. Yep, nice. 500, it looks like. He's throwing in there. Yep. 515. Isolate this. 465. 465. Take that back. I thought that was a 500 stack. Uh, oh, no, no, I didn't. I didn't 181? 181 here. Ace Heads up action. Ace 5 versus Ace King. Oh. 407 in the middle. Nikki in the box doing a great job. We get this pot right and this great view. So here comes the burn and the flop. And we have a four right in the window fall with another four and a ten. That does give Mr. Enright some outs. A ten would get a chop. Ten or a six. And a seven comes. An ace-king holds for Mr. Banks. Nice hand. By the way, I want to give a shout-out to Third Street Mafia, the Cigar Mafia. They said, we got you. Dom, happy birthday, Vic. A hundred likes. Thank you. We got four right there. We're up to 103, so thank you, gentlemen. Appreciate you, Jeremy. David, all the guys up there. Brian saying happy birthday. Colonel's a part of that. Brent in there. Thanks, Brent. And Donovan, thanks for tuning in. Says he's new to the live stream. Yeah, so thank Donovan, you very much. Thank you. And Donovan, please hit that subscribe button. Also hit that alert button. And welcome to our poker community. And We're Donovan, here. you just happened to catch us on a night for our 1-3 game, and it's, uh, it's so far in our 18-month eight, uh, history of doing the live stream. This is the biggest 1-3 $500 buy-in game that we've had to date. It's just been um, great action. Our next live stream is going to be Saturday night. That's a four-hour live stream, and that's a $500 buy-in, 1-3. We call that our regular Joe Poker Show. 
Yeah, and the range is to the 500, but most people, once in a while, you'll see maybe like a 350 buy in the start. The on, show, Saturday on Saturday night. That's nights. correct. Yeah. But uh, mo majority of them still buying for the full five. Yeah. And the Tuesday night um, has just been running very big. That's a 5 5 10 no limit hold up cash game. That's a $1,000 to $2,000 buy in with a match the stack. And uh, I believe uh, two Tuesdays ago we had around $37,000 on the table this past week, somewhere around $28,000. And that game has been running really well. And we've been getting great turnouts for it here from our uh, our viewership and our chat, chat board. And we really appreciate everybody that comes on. And... Speaking of chat board, we got another happy birthday to Vic from Cheeseburger. Also, Tommy Z in the house wishing Vic a happy birthday. Thank you very much. Like I said, myself and Vic get the pleasure of being with you guys three three days, sometimes four days a week. Raise we get to talk to our poker community more than our family some weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Thirty-five to go. Looks like going around the table. They have now at a discounted price. Has the rock in front of them. One oh eight in the middle, and we have a seven four five or I'm sorry seven four four board. Open ended straight draw for Buddha. One hundred. And this will come down to aggression. Enright wants to be the guy, so he puts out 100, but Buddha does make the call because he's open-ended here. Here comes the turn. Ten and clubs, does nothing. Check, check. Here comes a free card to the river. And king high is still good. And go to showdown, and Enright's going to take this pot down with his king-queen. King high. And that could uh, change some momentum here for Enright. I'm going to talk about momentum real quick because um, we saw Bob Enright, the last few streams he's been on, he's really had some great momentum. He's been in the uh, one live stream current recently. He really kind of controlled the action. Whole game. Uh, controlled it during the whole game and never really kind of lost that momentum. And it started like that for the first half of today. Yeah. It was really just one hand, and it kind of um, derailed it a little bit. So let's see if he rebounds, kind of cools down a little bit. Yeah, Colonel points it out. Uh, Enright was running hot in the beginning of the game, as was a new player here tonight. The kid was running real well in the beginning, and then uh, just things went south for him. And that's that's how this game goes. Oh, wow, big that's handler. That's goes. Oh, Levine. Kings and Ace King. Wait, did they both limp in for ten dollars? They both limped in for but ten dollars. No fear, bad beat Keith is here. He's gonna bump it up with five three suited, with two humongous hands limping in, just saying, you know what? This table's been raising all night. I'll let someone start it off for me, and then I'm gonna three bet. But now we're gonna see a four bet. Well, there's a call, and so now the three wow. bet's gonna come out. He is from Levine, and he's going to raise that up. Wow. And look at this. Both players with these hands have over $2,000 in front of them. Over 5000 between the two. Close to six. Yeah, Colonel, beware limpers. And also, when you get a chance, punish the limpers. Just as long as they don't punish you back with a weak hand. Anthony going to make the call. $493 in the, in the pot pre-flop. Ace-King versus Kings. Here we go. And a check in the dark. Check. And we have a six seven four board. Two clubs. One forty. 
That is an interesting continuation bet here from Levine. I mean, if you're Banks right now, you almost wonder if you have the same hand. I mean, there's a straight and a flush draw out there. It's not too strong. He's getting odds to call right now with ace high. Checks again. Queen of diamonds on the turn. A check back. Oh, a free card. And this hand has played a lot different. That might be an action killer. There's four cards to a straight out there. Let's see if Banks... We haven't seen him really make an aggressive move. Does he try to bluff this with ace high? Oh, and he's reaching. Two sixty. Snap call. Why couldn't you just flatten the 40? Oh, wow. I'd have flopped the straight and the straight flush redraw. Yeah, Bad Beat Keith actually would have flopped the, the straight with 5 3 with the straight flush redraw. But then why didn't you limp in? You can't say why. Why are you raising with five three? Yeah, when you had kings and ace king limp in. Why are you the one raising? You could have called ten. Seeing a flop. Probably got some good value. Yeah, those kings out there. So I think bad beat needs to do some rub the inner Buddha. Maybe he needs to talk to the Buddha on Buddha's little chips. Our good friend Smokey coming in, a.k.a. Chris. Smoke in the house. Going with a handle of smoke. He was playing in the uh, satellite tonight, came in uh, kind of a, right at the end of the late reg. I was talking to him just a few minutes ago. He asked about the game, and I said, well, if you get knocked out, you may want to come in, and sure enough, uh, he decided to come in here and try to play here for a little while that's left. You're in the Toledo area. You need some drywall work done. This is the man to see. All right, we got three players now going to the flop. We got a king five ten board, couple of hearts. Second king on the board. Ace high still good. Corey with the check mark, he's going to check it. Check. Hand the reins over yeah. to uh, Anthony, and they check it down to showdown. Nice yep, caught it on the river, <laughs> and taken down a profit here of $119. Well, Raheem, uh, you do not need to be invited to uh, come in and play our live streams. We're here Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday nights with the live cash game live streams. And all you need to do is give us a call here at the reserve. Talk to Marissa or whoever happens to be in the cage at that time. We've got the schedule up on the wall. We will not be live streaming next Tuesday and Saturday nights. We do have one this Saturday, but next week for the 21st starts our $100,000 prize pool guaranteed tournament. So we will not have a cash game live stream next Thursday. 
But after that's over, right back to our regular schedule. And on Tuesday nights, of course, our 5 5 10. Oh, yeah. No Limit Hold'em Cash Game. Be sure you get out a couple of weeks ahead on that one because that one fills up quickly. And we have a full table already for uh, high-end demand. Tuesday, the uh, 19th. And Levine with a mound of chips. Do you know the new rule that you can buy in for 1000 I did hear that. It just, I went... Zako picking up pocket nines. Run good continues. Ten dollar straddle and Sako's gonna raise this up to fifty with pocket nines. Mayhem. This is uh, what I would consider a power hour call. Six four. Making the call. And now it's going to come over to Levine with pocket tens. And he just makes the call. And now Smoke, Ace Jack. And he's going to get out of the way, as does Bad Beat. Keith, and we're going to go four handed here to the flop. Here we go, giddy up. Expect the unexpected. That's all I'm going to say. The way this night's been going. No kidding. Big hand alert here. And we got all, all sevens. Action flop for nines and tens. With 213 in the middle. Yeah. 125. 125 is the continuation bet here from Sacco. Doesn't know that he's betting in to uh, pocket tens. Let's see what Levine does with this. And he just makes the call. Queen. That's a check from Levine. And a free card here. Levine with the check mark. Putting a bet out. 300. Going for value right now, knowing where he's at in the hand. He's been locked in all night. He might get a call here. How's your call? Not yet. I will be. So. Oh, yeah. Almost showed you one. This time. Oh, you got him. Nine. Nine. Oh, nine. Good value by Levine right there. He's going to profit 588. And he's up to 4,400 now. Great night here for that young man. Yeah, it, it, it's a $500 max buy, and he's literally 100 away from being up an even four grand in and just four hours and change in play. And he's one of the players at the table, including uh, Anthony, that has not added to his stack since he sat down or did, did not, you know, re up any chips. So a big night here for Levine. Good night for Anthony. Anthony's. Not exactly his first time on the live stream, but it's been a long time since he's been with us. So it's like having a new player out here. Bad beat Keith, raising it up to 40, right into Corey's pocket kings. And he's raising it up to 150. Buddha might have been calling that 40, but I don't think he's calling the 150 with the Jack 10. Yeah, Kings for Corey. Oof. That was 42%. Was, the way this game's going, even a 1 3 game, if you, if you make it, you know, 50, $60 pre flop, it's like you almost have to have three players going along with your Kings or Aces. That's just the way the flow of the game has been played tonight. Raheem, you asked a good question. We do do, uh, we will have uh, PLO on Saturday nights from time to time. We try to do that perhaps once a month. We haven't done it now for a little while, maybe a couple of months. There's a good chance that uh, sometime between our $100,000 prize pool guarantee 
March 21st, and then our two-week series to, to commemorate our three-year anniversary. Possible between there, we'll announce that we'll have a Saturday night PLO live stream. Thank you for asking. A raise to 75 by Mayhem right into MGM Bob's Ace King, and so Bob's going to take it up to 200. $20 straddle there for Bob Enright, but that goes into the pot, and uh, Mayhem's going to make this call. We're going to go heads up to the flop. And we have a 7, 8, 10 board here. Wow. Queen 10 out flopping them. It's just been kind of how MGM's night's been running, and he's actually put Mayhem to the test pretty much all in. An all in and a snap call here from Bob. Yeah, he priced himself in with that. 1700 now in the pot. Like I said, pot after pot, just big hands tonight. No help there for Bob. An ace or a king. And 10's hold. And the queen 10 is going to hold up. Yeah, ma'am's going to have 1700 in front of him now. Nice hand. I didn't mean to break you, but I thought that that's what we were saying at the beginning. We paid three times what our insurance is worth. I know that, man. My cousin sells insurance. He sells real life, medical, all of it. So, Mayhem, first time on the live stream. Getting back. He, I know he just had it on moments ago, but he just got it all back in some. It's $1,100 And we got ten dollars. The rock is in play. Buddha will be first to act. Ace Jack. Fifty to go. Queens now smoke looking down. The ladies. After a raise by Buddha to 50, Smoke's going to make the call. And looks like we're going to be going heads up. Ace Jack versus Queens. 114 in the middle. Smoke open for a jack high board here. There's a king right in the window, followed with the 7 and 4. And a free card. Smoke coming along. Three sixty-four in the middle. We see what Buddha does here. Is he gonna try to bluff them all in? He checks, slows down. Go to showdown. Straight on the board, uh, possible straight, possible flush there on the board. So Smoke taking down a pot here, coming into us late, seeing if he can pick up a few bucks before the end of the live stream. Again, oftentimes. For you uh, folks that are watching us for the first time, we will stop broadcasting here at 11.15, but there's a good chance that this game continues to go on. I think it will. Sometimes it goes on for an hour, and sometimes it goes on for several hours. Yeah, we just had two players sit down in the last hour. Yeah. Vic, so I definitely see that from continuing. Won't be surprised if there's one or two players to the satellites getting down to the nitty-gritty. So we're going to have a... Yeah, you were the fresh poker players free to gamble. 
Smoke now with Ace-10, getting a little heater here. Got a little run good, too. One a pot. He's up to 585. Pocket kings for Sako in the small blind. And he's got the table image right now. It's a good action. Though Smoke did just sit down moments ago. And right, king four suited. It's out of the way. Buddha now with ace three. Back over to Smoke, who just won a hand with pocket queens, but he gets out of the way with the ace-10. And Raheem, uh, to put something together uh, this Saturday for a PLO game, unfortunately uh, would not. I don't know that we could do that that quickly. We do have a game planned for this Saturday. It is our regular Joe Poker show. And last time I looked at the board, I thought we were pretty full for that. Um, and it's not something that Dom and I make the call on. So, again, call the reserve. Uh, typically, you're going to get Marissa to uh, answer, and um, she can talk to you about. Uh, I don't think we can do it the following Saturday, but maybe uh, uh, something. We got the 100K guarantee. Something right can. after the uh, right after the 100K. Yeah. So I encourage you to give her a call, and if you've got some players that you could put together for us for that, uh, we'd put the call out to our PLO players and try to get something going. But I don't think we could do that uh, for this Saturday. I think he's like cutting like a wrestling promo right now. He's like, I'm with Dooley, like he's one of the managers. <laughs> like uh, you see one of those wrestling promos, <laughs> I'm with Dooley. Dooley wants to play. I'm his, like, yeah. <laughs> like those old 80s wrestling promos. No, do, uh, hey, Dooley, Dooley's been here. I know Dooley. He knows, he knows the drill. Call up here. We'll get him on if he wants to play. I'd love to have him. And MRH, uh, yes, uh, DJ Gaming explained that the Thursday nights, we have another element to this known at Thursday is what we call the rock. Talk to that in a second after we get through this hand. Here comes the flop. We got a 955 board, couple of hearts. Mr. Banks with the king high flush draw. And that's really about it. Just a couple of high cards, jack high, 10 high. The other two players. And he checks it. And bad B. Keith has heart. I He's got heart. That. He does. Uh, he <laughs> takes uh Leading out for 130. Takes a stab at this, and it's probably going to go all the way through. Although, Anthony does have the flush draw here. This looks like raising chips to me. Anthony puts the pressure on here with a bet of 325. And now it would be a bad beat, Keith. 195 to call. Really good play there from Anthony. Yeah. Sensed some weakness there. Decided to uh, take a stab at that, and it worked out for him. Mixed and so up. the uh, so the rock on Thursday nights, uh, that is a $10 straddle if you are on the button, or you as you have it in your stack, if you have it on the button or you have it under the gun. And then it goes into the pot, and then whoever wins it when they have it. So it's a way to uh, entice some action. And it's really been a non-entity tonight because the action has just been so big. I was about to say, we don't even need it, but I, I still want to keep it. Don't Yo, get me yeah, wrong. Yeah. It's not even needed. This has been it's, it's one of the game. One of the elements here of our no Knit Thursday. Mayhem now with the nemesis suited. Sacco now with ace-10. 
needs 50 to call, and he makes the call. Enright, 9 5 of hearts, the Dolly Parton on the button, just needs 40 to complete. And he does make the call, so we're going to go three handed here to the flop. And look at Enright now with it's, the 9 5. It's been pair on the button. Con continuation bet here from Sacco. I mean, from uh, Mayhem. All in. All in. And oh. Enright putting the pressure on, going all in. His inner, inner self is telling him what to do there, and he's right on it right now. Two players in there get rid of the riffraff. Bunch of overs floating over his head. Gets rid of the ace, king, jack, ten problem like that. Yes. Takes down the pot. Takes down the pot. And if I were going to call out a list of the players here that would probably stick around tonight after our live stream, it's probably more than likely going to be uh, M I mean, uh, Bob Enright. Yeah. And look at the watch. It's time. It's already time. So that was our last hand, ladies and gentlemen. We want to thank you very much for joining us here tonight. This has been our 1-3 No Limit Hold'em Cash Game $500 buy-in. And I have to keep repeating that because I can't believe it by watching yeah. what the action is. It's so much bigger than that. I was just about to say, can you really call it 1-3 anymore? I mean, it's a $500 max. And then, obviously, after 8 o'clock, you can add on you know up to 1000 or rebuy up to 1000 But... Yeah, a great night of cards tonight. Been, like I said, a record-breaking night for our 1-3 structure. Yeah. Uh, over 14,000 on the table and just a five-hour live stream. So thanks for everyone that have tuned in. We will be back here on Saturday for our Average Joe Poker Show 1-3 game. And then we also have our 100K Guaranteed Prize Pool Tournament. That's a $240 buy-in. Mega Bounty, March 21st to the 24th. Starting stack of 40K, 25-minute levels, top 10 advance to day two, and then, Vic, we got goodies for day two. Well, you know, I, I don't really have to explain it other than try to uh, pass along the enthusiasm that our customer base is feeling about this tournament because you can step into day two uh, and all of a sudden you're knocking two or three people out with a $240 buy-in. You're already making a profit. Um, by knocking people out and collecting $500 bounties. There'll be a $500 bounty on each person. So this is a great, great lineup for us beginning next Thursday. And for all the information on our tournaments, particularly this one coming up and the schedule, be sure to go to thereservepoker.com yep. and you can get all that information. Uh, and we hope to see you here for that. That's going to be a really big tournament. Um, pay close attention to the starting time of the flights. And, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. And, and there's six of them total. And don't, under, don't under, underestimate the value of getting here early. 100%. Get here early. Though We should be filling up, and we'll try to obviously make sure that everyone can get in there soon. But once again, 11 a.m. and 6 p.m., Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's coming up, folks, really soon. Yeah. But it's starting, well, a week from today. A week from today. Yeah. So, yeah. So tune in, guys. We'll be back soon. Once again, thank you for all your love and support. And once again, Happy birthday to this guy, the ultimate victory scar of poker, Vic G in the house. Vic, always a pleasure, brother. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. I got my green shirt on already for St. Patrick's Day on Saturday. Yep. And I can't overemphasize, particularly for St. Patty's Day, please be safe. Take care, everybody.